Good evening, Randallmen and Randall ladies. I hope everyone is doing all right. Thank you so much for jumping in. Um, first things first, let me know that you all can hear me. I know we do this every time, but I just, I get paranoid if people can't hear me. Um, this is stream number, I think, 21. And uh, last time we did have some excellent, people can hear me. Last time we did have some technical uh, difficulties, which I will not let happen again in the same way. So uh, yeah, hopefully I've troubleshot it properly. So, um, I have stocked up on some alcohol, and I have no idea how long I'm going to go for, but my intention here is to get halfway through Soma. Um, yeah, how far that actually is, though I don't know, because I have never actually reached the halfway point of Soma before. So to answer, a couple of people have asked in chat, have I played Soma before? Yes, however, I never finished it, which might be deemed heresy. Uh, I, I mean, fair enough, but, um... I do plan on playing the whole thing on stream. I'm just not going to one-shot it tonight because I think it will probably take too long. Um, but yeah, any of you guys who have played the game before, um, let me know. Because no doubt I may need some help from you guys at some point, knowing, knowing how my ability with video games seems to drop in and out seemingly at random. Um, but yeah, before I get going, this is the fourth spooky ween stream fourth and final and uh, i have you guys to blame for this one because you voted for it on discord this one soma won by like double the votes of anything else so i literally can bl blame you guys for what's about to happen um truffle says end of the month finished work at 2 p.m today well that's that's a winner you're definitely onto a winner there pub since three i'm already well oiled well, if you haven't, if you have played Soma, I'm going to be relying on you for help. If you haven't, then you're going to maybe poop your pants when watching this because it's it's a bit of a meep-worthy game. So, very quickly, I have an update for those of you who have not uh, sneaked a peek in the Discord. So, Hobbit Final Autopsy is finished, um, and the bonus part to this piece of information is that it made it through uh, YouTube's copyright system first try. So, it is cleared, it is good to go. I could maybe make it public right now, uh, if I wanted to. Um, but essentially I decided that because I definitely want to do a fourth uh, Spooky Ween stream tonight, I thought I'm not going to release the Hobbit video tonight. I am instead going to release it a week today. So, because I want to do the premiere function that I've done for all of them so far, I'm only going to do that if I am available next Friday, and I'm 90% sure that I am. Um, but I will confirm next week, and if you see it go up for a like pre-save or whatever, I, I forget what it's called, scheduled stream, that's what it is, uh, then that means it's going live on Friday evening at 8pm, so one week today. And it is, it is not quite as long as the, as part three. It is, I believe, two, uh, no, three hours, 51 minutes or something. So it is, it is long. It is the second longest video I've done by quite a margin. So I think we're good to get going with some Soma. There we go. So uh, as usual, if the sound needs to come up or down, just let me know. And uh, the game only gives you two difficulty options. So you have normal where monsters can kill you. And then you have safe mode where monsters are kind of creepy but can't kill you, and I don't... Safe mode to me doesn't really... I don't understand why that would be the case. Like, if you if you are incapable of playing it on normal, I don't... I feel like safe mode is a bit of a weird option. Yeah, Lord Wahoo journalist mode. <laughs> so, we're going to play it on normal, and um, hopefully we won't be struggling, because hopefully there are enough of you guys in chat to um, hold my hand. Overwrite latest save, that's... yeah, that's fine. So I played this for about five hours, at least two years ago. I don't remember a huge amount about it. Gagalum, no, I haven't. Uh, I probably will, though, at some point. I, I am morbidly curious. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. 
No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? So, you guys who know the game better than me might want to correct me, but I believe this is made by the same guys that made Amnesia. Yeah, I'm up. If that tells oh, you what the game is going to be like. Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Is Amnesia Re Amnesia Rebirth is the one that is supposedly bad, or is Amnesia Rebirth... Because there's three Amnesia games. There's Dark Descent, um... Let me just remember the controls. Dark Descent, Pig, pig Machine or something? Machine of Pigs? And Rebirth. Rebirth is the one that's supposed to be really bad. Put the tracer fluid. Thank you for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Labs in Toronto, but we are guess access is unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I will get back to you when confirmed. Prescription. Eh, we don't need to read the prescription. We're fine. Uh, we'll we'll just... Tracer fluid. We'll take the you? goo. Something I do quite like about this game, which is a bit different to, I guess, other horror games that I've played, because I haven't really played Amnesia, is the, the hand-moving thing. Like that being a mechanic where you kind of sort of inch open doors a little bit. And there we go, now we can see. Coming. Hope it's a good one. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier in my way. Bathroom well you say bathroom connected to your bedroom is a flex, but this is a one room. Is this a, is this technically a two room apartment? Because a bathroom is always gonna be a separate room. It's not it's you're never gonna have a shitter next to your bed. At least I don't think you are. Okay. Interesting. So I guess the the brain goo that I need is going to be hidden somewhere in one of these drawers. This is Random's bathroom. So, well, I mean, I don't have a bed in my office, but in terms of distance, we're probably talking similar distance, yes. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there we go. How do I... There we go. Chug a lug. Uh, Tech Steel, firstly, welcome. And uh, I have played this, but very. Like it was a little while ago, and I didn't finish like it. Sucking on a penny. So essentially, this is my first experience with it, because I don't really remember a huge amount about it. Oh shit. Yesterday, a, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car. So Ashley is dead? And I'm Simon, and I'm alive. Okay. Get well soon. Mm-hmm. Oh, um... Also, hello, Gasper. And Alexis, so, Hobbit final video, I, I already kind of went through it, but it must have been just before you joined. Most likely, a week today. Maybe later. I got the brain scan thing, remember? Uh, Gagalim, the reason is because I do video releases on Friday, and because I want to do it as a premiere function, which means I also I need to be available. You know how we sell calendars? You should get one. I have one! I just never write anything in it. Maybe I'll Because there's no point later. doing the Depends premiere function if I'm not there, honestly. Cool. Like, interacting with you guys during the video is part of the fun. Anyway, we're getting a new minion today. Thought you might want to come by and say hi. 
replacing Ashley already? <laughs> that was quick. No, it really wasn't. We've been understaffed for weeks, and you know it. I guess it's been a while. It really has. Like, a month already? Anyway, get the scan done, get good news from the doctor or whatever, come down to the store, say hi to the new guy, and lunch is on me. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate your support. Don't want to replace another minion. That's not funny. It's a little funny. No. No, it's not. Bye, Jesse. See you later. Hmm. Find me in a photograph. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, Truffle. Um, you can you can download the MP3. I, uh, if there was a way for me to just share it on Discord, maybe there is. But yeah, what Zach is saying is YouTube to MP3. That just Google YouTube to MP3. Put the Hello? link in, and it'll let you download it. Doctor Munchie. Is there a light? There is a light. Excellent. Where Something is tells me that will not be the case for the rest of the game. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you here already? Okay. Well, I guess I'm Simon, aren't I? This is the place, right? It must be. Oh, I need to find the... Oh, here we go. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Code! Where are you, Code? Two five zero one is that? I think that's two five zero one. Someone can't draw ones. Yay! Aha. They're going to be doing brain stuff, aren't they? Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. This man is not a doctor. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you... Uh, Take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Well, see, I know I know what's going to happen when I sit in that chair. Um, no, fuck it. Let's just do it. Hello, I'm not a doctor. Also, please sit in my chair. Hmm. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheeses. Uh, Simon's brain... Well, from what we've seen so far, um, I assume concussion from the car crash? What happened? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Uh, so, Gagalum, the, ga the game... I'm, uh, it's not this really possible funny. for me to spoil anything because I don't really remember anything. But I know that the game screws with your head, and we saw a... I'm not supposed to put myself in... Like a newspaper clipping that said that Ashley was dead, yes. This is kind of stressing me out. 
Is that a... Oh, fuck. Hey! I might need to turn up the brightness. Anyone? <laughs> And everything seemed to be going so well. Omni to oh, I vaguely remember this thing. Okay, so I need to switch on that console in order to switch on the other console, and I believe I need the Omni tool in order to do both. Yeah. How do I... Is it in there? How do I... Hello, Mr. Tree. How are we doing? Oh, Jesus. Thank you, game. See, the game knows I'm not very good. Right. That's where I just was. Okay. Oh, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Oh, it's all... It's all gooey. Okay. It's all coming back to me. Spinach, yuck. Curry, yes. Well, whoever was here didn't clean up after themselves. <laughs> hey you, can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. Oh, fucking hell. There was something there, and now it's not. Okay. God damn it. Do I have a map? I don't have a map. That's not good. Um...
Because I could just wait in here. Q and E to... Okay. I'm not sure if crouching even helps, but I'm doing it anyway because it makes me feel safer. Um, to kind of answer what's uh, what you're talking about in chat, so I have no idea if dislikes on a video are good for the algorithm or bad for the algorithm. I have no idea. What I do know is that all comments, whether they are positive or negative, are good. Which is why... Fuck you! I, 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 I'm going to play as much as I can with the brightness this low, but because it's the, it's not my monitor, it's the, like, gamma or whatever I set it to. So what you can see on stream is what I can see. And I think it's very, very slightly too dark for me to see what's going on, but... Fuck you! Oh, good lord. I guess I have to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, fuck you! I was hiding! How does- how does saving in this game work? I guess I can... It's not like Alien where I have to actually get somewhere, is it? Or is it- is it a checkpoint system? Wait, hold on. Am I being really dumb? I'm probably being really dumb. I needed to get something from that room. Yeah, if I'd snuck back from that thing without getting what I need, then I would have to do it again! I don't trust this little fucker. And I assume it can't open doors. We're gonna find out, though. Here we go. Omni tool does stuff and things. Alright, we're good. I thought I had a flashlight, although maybe I have to find that. Oh. Oh, that's a... That was a person. Okay. Yeah, I can... Fuck! Fucking hell! Oh, that was me. I was about to say I can hear it, but I... Are you just reading me? Here we go. This is where I was. Right, door. Although I... What silly sausage made a hole in the... In the... In the wall. Right, go. Computery time. Random, what should we call the monster? Let's go for... Ted. He looks like a Ted. Oh, whoops. Okay, so the computer knows about Simon, Mr. Munshi, and 
Toronto, apparently. Oh, I need to unlock unlock toolbox. There we go. I don't know what that does. Ooh, what's this? I told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Yeah, so we can call him Ted, but he gets called Theodore when he's been naughty. Um, right, back. Okay, toolbox. Are you open? You're not open. Oh, you're open. There we go. Ah, okay, right. Tool chip, which will, I guess, let me open doors. Good. Tool chip security cipher updated. Yoink! Huzzah! No, well, that doesn't. Pilot. I guess I was a pilot, maybe. Carl. Carl was the name of the... Ooh. Carl and Amy were the names of the two people that were on the audio thingy that I found. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months was having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. That is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you'll have to do some more heavy lifting... Performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Oh, good lord. Okay. I don't need to climb out the window. Right. Where are we going now? Probably towards wherever the spooky scary is. Oh, sorry, Theo, as we... No, Theo? Theodore Ted, that was his name. Yeah, that's a dead end. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. No, no. Backwards. Are those wires or is that Dr. Octopus? I think it's just wires. Please be the way out. Omni tool, go, use. No, door, close. I do not fucking trust you. Close. Apparently I can't close it. Um Yeah, so what a twist. We're under the sea. Um yeah, that's where we are. Under the sea. Right, hopefully Ted doesn't chase us. Ah, uh, more goo.
Um... Oh no, don't do that. Ah! What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Did I fix a bit of my brain by touching a... That. Possibly. No, I don't think you do, Gagalum. There was a health. Oh, I didn't realize there was a health bar in this game. Is fucking Ted following me? Oh yeah, I watched... I don't like this. <laughs> I watched, um... What's it called? The... First episode of Fall of House Usher. I haven't seen the rest yet. Pretty good. Looking forward to watching the rest. I thought... Wait, no, I can't Omni-Tool that thing, can I? I might actually have a heart attack if Ted shows up in here. What is that? Oh no, it's nothing. Oh, door. If only I could close you when I'm done. Actually, I think I can close these doors. I... I don't have a choice, do I? Don't touch the structure, gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on... Wow. What? I don't know what wow is. Issue has been reported to SSC Walls check. Oh, W-A-U, whatever that is. Okay, I wasn't sure if wow was someone's name. And what the devil is going on over here? Um... Hey, can you hear me? Okay, so... Uh, I don't think I should. I don't want to turn it off either. This is... This is how this game fucks with your head. Um, do I have any other options? No, I don't think I do, because this fucker is eating all the... I'm closing that door. Get out of here, Ted. You're not wanted. I also don't know what this goo does. Um, well, I don't think I have a choice, but sorry. What's this thing's name? Come on, give me a name. we got to name this thing. If we're going to switch him off, we have to name him. Yeah, and I can't talk to him again, either. Uh, Wellesley. Yeah, he looks like a Wellesley. Sorry. Oh, wait. <laughs> Can I plug it back in? Yeah, sorry. I need... I need it. Why? I was okay. I was happy. I'm sorry, Wellesley. Rip. What is this now? Critical system failure, please reboot the workstation if the problem persists. Blah, 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 that doesn't help me. Okay. I've got to do something here, but I don't know what buttons I have to press. 
Probably not those ones. No, I'm missing something. Can I? I can't put myself into whatever those are. Um, I can't put that into me. Um, what are my options? Uh, truffle, there is no way in hell I would have picked up on that, no. Oh, I see, there's buttons, right. I did not realize that. Oh, shit. Yay! Stuff's happening. I don't want to- I don't know if Ted is following me, but he might actually be. I don't know. I mean, I know I've kind of been spoiled by Alien Isolation, but the sound design in this game is pretty damn cool. Wellesley's dead. I'm sorry. Oh, what is... What, what's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. How's the volume, by the way, guys? Relative to my voice. Calling hazard. Well, yeah, we wouldn't want that, would we? You go down there, you end up in Australia. Downtime, 143 days. Okay, so this has been switched off for half a year. Volume is perfecto. Excellent, thank you. What would I do without you guys? <laughs> uh, oh, do we- can we jump? We can jump, okay. Ah, we don't want to do that. Where's Ted? Ted probably heard that. Oh, fuck. Someone heard me. Ah, fuck! No! Is that Ted? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's Ted. I don't think this is Ted. I think this is someone else. I don't want to go in there. I'm going to go up. Greg. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not Ted. That one's a lot slower than Ted, so that one can be Greg. Ah! Oh, am I dying? Oh, the steam's killing me. That's not good. Right, so that opens the door. I guess I can... ...run through it. Yeah, there we go. There's probably a way to get around that without doing that, but... Don't you be following me, Greg. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I thought I'd fuck myself. Okay, now we, we can keep going up. We're good. I thought I'd skipped something by running through the smoke that I had to, like, switch off the smoke and open the door or something. Which maybe I did. Where's one of those nice, like, jelly balls? I need to... Here we go. I need to... Heal myself. Why are you still crouching? Gagalum, I'm crouching because I'm scared. Lockdown process initiated. Check terminal. Uh... I don't have an ID number. I guess I probably have to find one. Nope, there we go. Or is it written on like a secret thingy? No, I probably gotta go find it. Lord Wahoo, that's the exact same combination I have on my luggage. Oh god, what is... It's arms. Okay. Um... Oh, that's a nice drawing. That's where I came from and I can't close that. I can go... Now let's go check those arms. Let's go and have a look at the arms. Wait, is this... What the hell happened to you? Uh... <laughs> what are you? Are you blind? It's me. Carl. Carl Semkin. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I... No, actually. This isn't well oh, being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. So he's... What's wrong with your... everything? Do you have diving in sewage or something? Oh no! I can't move! Please! Uh, I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Okay. Right, so now we have the moral problem, and I don't, because I don't know this game well enough, although I have played this bit before, I don't know if I have a choice. So I don't know if anyone can, or maybe, if, I don't know if telling me would be a spoiler, any of you guys who've played it before. But if there is no way to proceed without killing him, then I may as well just do it, but I'm guessing there's probably another way around it. Oh, that's a, that's a person. Gagalum, that's not- that isn't self-defense. Oh god, he's dead? Wait. He's dead. Oh, okay, so Carl is now- He's a robot. Carl's a robot and he doesn't know he's dead. I need his ID. Oh, I have to- Can I- can I pick up his ID? Or am I pressing the wrong button? Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's oh, the it. number on it. Thank Enough you. Power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. Ah! Well, that wasn't horrifying. Thank you, Jay, for writing down the, um, code. I'm guessing... Yeah, that's probably where I've got to go. Turn around, we sealed up Salon to keep it working, don't fuck it up. Carl was not my fault. Uh... 
Okay. Wait, yeah, no. I'm gonna go back and use the Carl computer login thing before I proceed any further, because I don't know... I feel like this game is gonna be giving me information... It's gonna be rewarding me with information that I may not find if I just proceed. Possibly. Right, what was Carl's ID? It was... 0722, thank you. Logged in as Carl. Uh, turbines overheated. There was a blackout in all of the different facilities, I guess. Okay. That didn't really help me. 6969, I'm gonna... Yeah, uh, sorry, Gaglum, I don't think that's... I mean, if you worked here, that would no doubt be your security code. Can I switch that on? No. Okay. Zeppelin cargo transport. Okay, so there's five facilities, and Upsilon is the one that I'm currently in, I think? Oh, wait, did that not... Okay. Oh, f that's probably there so I can hide, which would suggest that I might have to hide. Oh, dear. Well, nothing happened there, so... Welcome, Silly Frog. How are we doing? I'm gonna check what's in here. The only place I haven't. Oh God, been. Um. Okay, so that's, I think, Amy was the name. Carl and Amy. Although from the looks of it, Amy is uh, dead, probably. Reboot the thingy. Okay, so I've probably got to find Amy's corpse. Ooh, this is useful. Hold on. So... Where am I? Oh, I'm here. You are here. It's useful that it tells me that. The pump room is where I couldn't get to. Assembly B is where Carl is. And I think that's the only places I can currently go. Communications is where I'm trying to get to, which is up those stairs. That I can't open. Um... I guess we need to go back and be looking. Let's see if I speak to Carl again. Will he tell me anything? I'm really hurt. Won't the mechanic make more sense? Are you trying to be fucking funny? Give me a medic. Sorry, Carl. Um, the thing is, I don't actually know what happens if I switch that on. It seems to hurt him, but I don't know how that actually helps me. <laughs> Um, that was Carl. Let's see if we can find Amy's. Amy's thing might be up here.
That I've already checked. Oh wait, hold on, can I open? I can! Huzzah! Amy0735! Don't worry, Carl. I'll rescue you. Right. What can Amy do? Uh, try to get the turbos running, blah, blah, blah. Robots are getting increasingly erratic all over Pathos 2. Pathos is a different uh, facility, I guess. And unfortunately, there's no universal kill switch. Seeing how we won't return to Upsilon, you could try sealing off sectors to prevent the helpers from getting to the sensitive areas. Yeah, but that won't really help me now, will it? Machines are getting worse. Come up with some way to shut them down. But considering the insane amount of units at Upsilon, it's not looking good. Hmm. Indeed. Uh... Can... Solution found. Shut off one of the... Oh, fuck off. Okay, so now I have to... I have to switch off this one here, which is going to kill Carl. Or I have to switch off this one, which I can't actually get to, I don't think. Hold on. Because if there's a way to do it, then I will. Uh, okay, so it's like a cyborg implant thingy. That's not... That's not gonna go wrong. Can't see shit, Captain. Okay, well... Thermal chamber I can't turn on. Flow control I can turn on, but I, I don't know what the flow control is. Hold on. Uh, ooh, hold on a tick. Flow control might be something to do with the uh, room I couldn't get into. Random give me best song out. I, what? And uh, Box Fox, I was... Uh, thinking that the humane thing to do is probably to save Carl, but if, if that's not possible. Thing is, there's a... Uh, there's a deeper moral question, which is... I'm not going to have the option to go with it, because saving Carl and getting him out of here isn't an option, I'm guessing. Um, if there was a way to just switch him off, like turning off a computer, then that would be one thing, but it seems like the only way to turn him off is to cause him... him, it, cause... Cause him, cause Carl, like, massive amounts of pain. So it's not as simple. Um, oh, greatest song of all time. Uh, the one I have tattooed on my arm, which would be Octavarium by Dream Theater. It's 24 minutes long. You'll love it. Um, okay, so flow control didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Communication center I can't do. That I can't do. Siphon I can't do. Um... And Jay, you are quite right, but that's, I guess, part of what this game is exploring. Can we get a song link? Um, yes, give me a sec. Uh, let's go with it now. Give me ten seconds or so. Uh, right, those of you on Discord, I've put a link in the music channel. Those of you not on Discord, there's a link to the Discord in the description of this video. Uh, if you listen to that song while I'm playing this, it might be a little bit inappropriate, potentially. It might ruin the mood, but, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Um, Lord Wahoo says it doesn't matter... Oh, see you in a bit, Jay, thank you. Lord Wahoo says it doesn't matter if it's real or simulated, the effect on the psyche in question is identical. Yes, you're right. This is why I find kind of the theme of this game very interesting but I want to I want to proceed and then I'll maybe talk about it a little bit 
because I don't want I don't want to get bogged down in doing rather than thinking. Uh, sorry, in thinking rather than doing. Okay, so I can't. If I turn that off, Carl dies. The other option is that I turn off something that is in this room here, but I don't. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's flu control. God damn it. Okay, right. We'll switch on flu control and then we'll go back in there. Okay. So. Uh, what I was going to say is... There we go, flow control. So, if a machine is able to experience... If we program a machine to be able to feel pain, as, as much as that sentence can possibly mean anything when applied to a, a robot... Um, it doesn't necessarily have to hurt it, because the sensation of pain, like you putting your hand in a fireplace or, or something, or putting your head in the microwave or whatever it might be, that is going to hurt you. The reason why it hurts you is to motivate you or incentivize you to not do it again, because that's how evolution works. Uh, the people that do that die. Read this, we strain the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. Oh, I want it. Um, yeah, so if you, you could theoretically program a robot with the sensation of pain without actually making it hurt, if that makes sense. Uh, let's put my thing in the thing. Let's do that. Uh. Oh, oh god. Uh, oh no. Oh, did I just fuck it? Have I just... Have I just fucked it? Am I gonna have to kill Carl? Is Carl currently frying? There's something... Something is somethinging. I don't really want to go in there. Thank you, hiding place, for existing. Oh, good God! Oh, is it Ted? It might be Ted. Or Gary, or whatever his name was. Yeah, and a bleep bloop to you too. Right, come on. You keep going. Ah, oh, he's singing to himself. Was it Greg? So I need to get back to that computer and turn on the... How the hell am I going to do that? I think that's a different one. I don't think it's the same one. Um, yeah, I need to get to and use the computer while that fucker is in the room. I don't know how I am supposed to do that. I could lock him in, I guess. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Power manager, comm center, on! Uh-oh. Go, go, go! Get the fuck up there! Close. Don't follow me. Good lord. Ah, oh, it's another thingy I can put myself in. There we go. Wait, maybe I need to stop doing that. Because that seems to have adverse effects. Right, we'll do you in a minute. I just want to have a look at this. So, New... Upsilon is New York, I guess? Lisbon... Wait, does it tell me? Lisbon is Pathos, potentially. Um... I mean, that name sounds... Potentially Norwegian. Oh, it's London. Okay. 
I don't know where Cadiz is. Somewhere in Spain, by the looks of it. Okay. Um, well, I guess we're going to press a button. Oh, we wouldn't want to make things too easy, would we? Yay, do it. I just realized... Fuck. I left Carl. Carl is... I mean, I, I mean, I guess he is in pain, but he's not, like, shocking himself to death. But yeah, I kind of left him there. Um, that's not... good. Maybe switching him, switching him off was the nice move. Um, okay. I'll see if I can fix him when I get down there. Hey, Ryan. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Hey, hello, Theta? Absalon, what's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, Site Service Engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center. If you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. Alright, we just have to make do. Catch you later. So pretty much what's happened so far in this game, Ryan, is we had like a car crash, and then we went to the doctor to get our brain looked at. And he did a brain scan, and then the walls came crumbling down, and we woke up in this like abandoned wrecked facility. Uh, which we have now found is deep under the um, Atlantic Ocean. And... There's robots that think they're people. That is, uh, that's what we've, that's what we found so far. Alright. That's not ominous in the slightest. Ah, that's the reason why the map's there. To show you where to move the thing. That's pretty cool. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Yay, Simon, a person. Uh, Jared, Ostensibly. Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where to even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is also strange. You're telling me. What was that? Whoa! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Thank you. Oh, good God. Oh, no. Shit! 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 Where do I... Where did I... Oh, oh no! The thing's broken! Oh, no! Okay. Can we breathe underwater? I'm gonna assume here that I'm not dead yet. Yet, being the operative word. Um... What? What the hell? How is this possible? Gagalim, you're asking the important question. Is Simon Fish? Uh, this isn't... 
This is insane! Um... Simon is something. Whether he's fish is a, uh... Oh, oh, there's a hole in the... Oh, okay, let's go that way. I've got to click it. There we go. Shut it down. Shut it down now. Oh yeah, so I didn't... Well, I, I think I probably have said this, but for those of you in chat now who weren't here in some of the other streams... Yeah, this is the ocean floor. Um, I... After, uh, after next week, I'm planning on probably finishing... Well, I'm definitely going to finish... What's it, what's, it, what's it called? Brain. Work. The quarry, because I can probably finish that in a couple of hours. So I'll probably finish that first. Alien Isolation I should be able to do in one stream. I don't really want it to take two, but it's going to be a full-length stream. Um, I'm unsure if I will continue with Prey. Um, I might have to kind of get to grips with it a little bit more before I do, but I might. And Soma, I will finish, which is why I want to get to halfway through. Al- Alkaos Min- Myth- Mithilinis, I think is your name. Sorry for the pronunciation. Dropping by to say that your work is awesome. I'm looking forward to more excellent videos from you in the, in the future. Well, thank you. You have approximately a week to wait, because that's when the next one's coming out. Um, hope the marine misadventures are going well. Yeah, stuff's going all right. But yeah, thank you for dropping in, and I hope you enjoy if you stick around. Um, Mystic, no problem. I haven't watched it yet, because I have been busy, but if I do get a chance, then I will let you know. Um, okay, that doesn't do anything. And yes, truffle, tiger bread, that's where I came from. Tiger bread is probably the best bread. Although, no, what's that, um... Are we just talking vanilla bread, or are we talking, like, special bread included? Because that, um, Indian, like, naan bread with meat in it is really nice. Mr. Mumps, um, I have played, I want to say, the first four to five hours of the game before, but I don't really remember it. I've never finished it. So, this bit right here I have played before, but I, I don't know where I'm going or... Or why? <laughs> Beyond what the game has already told me. Uh. Onion b bread is the best bread. I gotta be honest, onion bread does not sound very nice, but it does sound like something that Germans would eat. Because... Yeah, p yeah, pita bread, sort of in general, I do like, but there's a particular type of pita bread that has meat in it. And I never really eat Indian food, so I just kind of go with the one that has meat on it. And, uh, yeah, it is rather nice. Also... Come in, Peter. I'll say in a sec. Oh, shit. Oh, beans. Can you get back to Theta? Yes. I think so. I'll head for the shuttle, the Ox. Good luck, Amy. So... I'm, g I'm going to assume that this is deliberate, is that in trying to do the nice thing and not torturing Carl as I switch him off, I inadvertently may have done uh, something worse by leaving him there potentially until the end of time, because, like... If he's a if he's a brain on like a hard drive or however it works, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Ozzy, are we gonna have to do a bread tier list? Because I'm I'm not a bread expert. Raisin bread is quite nice. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, oh, that's a thingy, that's a thingy. He needs structure gel.
That's a robot. Uh oh. Oh god, fuck you. Don't look at me. Well, there's a green button. That's always good. Wait, that's not a button. That's not good. It's also not green, it's yellow. Um, okay. I don't think I want to rescue this robot. I think he's mean. You took my goo. Oh, and um, are we are we counting garlic bread as bread? Because, I mean, technically it is, but it's also more than... Like, I feel like if you're going to include, like, a garlic baguette as bread, then you could also include, like, a pizza as bread. <laughs> Also, why are we talking about bread? How did this start? <laughs> oh, is this where we need to be going? Yes, I think this is where we need to be going. Ah. Can I free him? I think I can free him. Oh, you seem nice. Please don't eat me. Um, thank you, Ozzy, for the super chat. So, Ozzy, one of two. Oh, God damn it! I know what you're doing. Someone make a note of what Ozzy has just sent me, because I want someone to ask it again later in the stream when I've drunk more alcohol. So, Ozzy super chats together says, she sells seashells on the seashore. The she. Sh I can fucking do this. I've done this before, because I know this one. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she shells are seashells, I'm sure. For if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure seashell she sells seashore shells. So that's very slightly different to the version that I know. I don't know if it's a, like, German versus English thing. I'm not sure, but... Yes, thank you for the super chats, though. Is this guy just... Oh, I think he's just giving me light now. He's following me. Although I did just hear something. Um, Mr. Tree, I, I... I am being... I hope I'm being. That's a person. I mean a robot. Slip of the tongue. Um, I am a good husband and not getting wife a ferret. Thank you, Gagalim. You matter too. Ah! No. 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 What what are we calling our little our little friend here? What what's he gonna be called? The nice one. What's his name? Oh, I don't want to go near that fucker. He's gonna do things to me. Nah, it can't be I mean it's giving me Wally vibes, but we can't just call him Wally. Uh Bebop. Isn't Bebop? That's from something else. Something that isn't from something else. Destroy. <laughs> All right, his name is Destroyer. Bender can be the name of the next one. So the thing with this, like, whole being outside thing is that I don't really know if I'm going in circles. I don't think I am. Wife is not getting a goddamn ferret, guys. Stop it. The superiority of... Well, okay, what other, what other types of, um... bread do you have in Germany that are like... Because if onion bread is a German thing, like, what are, what are other types of German bread? I'm gonna guess that I haven't had any, but... I've also not really spent any time in Germany, so... Pot 
potato bread. Yeah, right, that's where we got Destroyer. Okay, so I think I need to go up here. I think I know where I'm going now. Crusty bread, potato bread. Yeah, what what is potato bread? Because that just sounds like carbs on carbs on carbs. Oh shit, oh fuck. Just one bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. Is that potato bread? Potato bread is bread made using potato starch as an additive or replacement for flour. Okay. So does it... Ugh. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, I'm going. Oh, he didn't see me. Or if he did, he's being very quiet about it. Shuttle station! Yay, we made it! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Destroyer. Aptly named Destroyer. What is a fry-up? So fry-ups, I don't actually know if they're a British thing, but fry-ups are excellent. It's like a fried breakfast. Like bacon, beans, um, I guess hash browns, eggs. Well, thanks, little guy. Toast, that kind of thing. Thank you, Destroyer. Have a lovely day. Right. Welcome, cool man. Hope you're doing all right. Let's hope the shuttle still works. Oh, I do have a torch. Wait. Where did I get a flashlight? Aha. Uh -huh. The game just gave me a... Hmm. I did not pick that up. Jackie? Come in, Theta. What? I can't... Where are you now? Jackie! I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I... I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Somehow. So Frogo says, I hate to bring it to you, or break it to you, but if it has beans for breakfast, it's 100% British. Yeah, that's fair. I forgot that that was a British thing. And, um, so the flashlight attracts monsters. I assume that's only the case if there are monsters here already. Like, me just having the flashlight on isn't going to do anything. What ho? A hole? Why do I get the feeling something bad is about to happen? Well, there's goo, so that's never good. Which country has the best breakfast? So it's either got to be like American, like the full on ridiculous American breakfasts that I had in New York with them. Um, fried chicken and waffles, like that kind of ridiculous stuff I like. Uh, but also like a full English is lovely. Um, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um... Ah, uh, okay. Hey, are you... Don't hurt me! Um... Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. Well, it sounds like she wants to die. What happened? An accident. 
fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Oh shit, this is Amy. So she made it this far. Okay, well, I can always unplug her. Um, I could always not. This is the thing. I don't, I don't really want spoilers, but I remember doing this now before, and you, you have to unplug her to, like, proceed. Unless there's a way to not do that. So I... Uh, Someone who's played the game before, can can you give me a straight, uh, I guess, yes or no? Is it possible for me to proceed without unplugging Amy? Because if it is possible, I'm happy to try and work out how to do it, but I don't want to waste half an hour trying to do something that... Uh... Talk to her. Unplugging is inevitable. Yeah, I, I already spoke to her. Don't think so. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. Well, it's not fine. No! Bleep bloop. Sorry, Amy. Well, at least it was a quick one. Not like Carl, who's going to be down there for a little while. Damn it! Ozzy says you can proceed without killing. Well, that's... Yeah, that's not very good for Amy now, is it? Um, oh well. I'm not reloading. Why did I just do that? Did that actually let me do anything? Oh, I see. By switching it, her off, I, the shuttle now has power. Got it. Okay. Again, I thought the game was fucking with me and making me switch her off for no reason. Yes, here we go. On! Yay! Let's get onto this totally stable tram looking thing. I'm not going to remember all of that. Um, is there anything else? What is this? Oh, shit. I keep right-clicking instead of pressing back. Uh, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Large collisions ever recorded on Earth indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. What the fuck? I don't remember this. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety of our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but the casualties report no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication situated on the pl surface platform Omega, which under the circumstances is a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos and ultimately mankind. Okay, so a meteor went splat into, or a comet went splat into Earth, and it might mean that the robot people are the only ones left. I guess that's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way, along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted to pick a fence, big family, you know? I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of you. And... Even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Damn it, game. Why you gotta make me feel bad about the thing I just did? Um, true. Uh, welcome. And I am about an hour and a half into the game. I don't know progress-wise how far I am, because 
I don't know. I've, I'm not familiar enough with the game to tell you. Uh, right, how do we on? How do we... Go, go, gadget. Is that enough to go? Or have I just shut myself in here? No. Uh, yeah, I just... I just did Amy. Oh, okay, this one looks a little bit more intact. Let's get in this one. Well, when I say I did her, I mean I kind of, I guess, switched her off. Oh, here we go. Bleep bloop. So, Lambda is where we're going. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, I guess that's where we're going. This thing must be pretty damn fast if it's going across the ocean. feeling it's not going to be that simple. Jump scare in three, two, one. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Track obstructed. Oh no. Well, that's not good. That's it. Pop. Let's go. Um, true. It sounds like you've played this before. I think you're the only person in chat who has, or possibly a couple of others have. Um, how far through the game am I? Because my intention is to get about halfway through tonight. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. Um, What's going on out there? Take the Jake, I'll answer you in one sec. I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? Um, yeah, so what I'll probably do is I'll decide um, after next week and possibly a week afterwards, um, I will decide w what my options are in terms of games to finish, because I, I have four games now as a result of the Spooky Ween stream that I can keep going with. Three of them I definitely am going to keep going with. Um, but I might leave it up to you guys to tell me which one you want me to do first. But, uh, yeah, I don't have a specific date, but it's going to be Friday, I don't know, two, three weeks' time. Oh, that's not good. That's the first time Jesus that's happened. Jesus Christ! 
What the hell? I might do the same order, I'm not sure. Also, um, super chat from Cool Man, thank you, sir. Uh, starting a fund for Random's future psychiatrist after this. No, so I don't need a psychiatrist because I'm a man, so I just bottle all that shit up until I'm 40 and then I have a heart attack. I guess that's not the way. But yes, uh, thank you for the super chat. I don't think there's any other way. Or am I missing, like, a little vent somewhere? <laughs> Based in the chat. Okay, yeah, well, I, I do try sometimes. Oh, here we go, a thingy. Got the Omni tool back in the shop. Oh, God damn it! That's the game making me feel like a dum dum for allowing me to leave without the Omni tool. Oh no! Oh no! There's a person there. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is that Amy? Have I pissed her off? Because there's no way out of here. This is a dead end. Can I actually not get back there? What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? It's watching me. Um... Well, hopefully I'm not completely fucked. Do I just run- do I just run towards it? I don't- I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Because if I had remembered to bring the thing with me... If I'd remember to bring the thing with me, then I wouldn't have to go back here. Katarina says, I don't think that's the enemy's... the enemy glitch. I think... I mean, it seems to be. It's some kind of glitch. I don't know what it is. It's definitely m making me... The game is making me not want to go down there. Um... Alright, well, we're gonna do it. Hello, person. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Right, come here, you Omni Bellend. Let's go. Someone was watching me. Interesting. So my guess then is that you don't have that interaction if you remember to bring the Omni tool with you. Um, in terms of what based means, uh, my somewhat limited understanding of it was if you say something that has the potential to be controversial, but you say it with conviction and you don't care if there's any pushback, I think. Is, is what it means. Here we go again.
Wait, why did I just do that? Ooh. There we go. And I don't think I've ever heard the word Riz, or if I have heard the word Riz, I don't- I've never known what it me what it means. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? That is a very stupid thing to say. The ocean is big. The ocean is extremely big. The ocean is more big than the land is. It's- it's fucking massive. Riz is short for charisma. Okay. Where is Destroyer? I think Des yeah, Destroyer isn't here because Destroyer we left at um, um, not Omnicron. What was it called? Upsilon. Um, so if we find another one, it's not Destroyer. We're gonna have to give him another name. The ocean is so big we can't properly comprehend it. If you well. Especially if you're talking about depth. It's ridiculous. I mean, I, I know that I'm not really... I'm not going up or down here. I'm just walking across the ocean floor. But even then, like even in, in that one, I guess, dimension, it's still massive. It's ridiculous. Having Riz equals being good with the ladies. I have never heard that in my life. Oh, my flashlight does work. Okay. Oh, it's a crab! Hello, crab. Name the crab, guys. Name the crab. Wait, why is my screen going fucky? Oh, there's a robot there. Okay. Sebastian, of course. Why why didn't I think of this? <laughs> Meal. Yeah, crab crab is actually quite nice. I don't mind crab. The thing with those fuckers is I can never tell which way they're looking. Lord Wahoo, you're in the middle of the desert. Where where exactly are you? <laughs> Random, do you have good riz? Um, I have no idea. I, I still, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Ask my wife. That's probably all I can say on that. Oh, I guess this is the tram tunnel, and that's probably where I'm going. Oh, it's a hammerhead! That's cool. I would say name the shark, but he's gone. Yeah, he's gone over there. I mean, it's gotta be Bruce. No, wait, what's the... Bruce is the... Bruce is the Great White in Finding Nemo. What's the name of the... Does anyone actually know? Because I swear they, they have names. There's three sharks in Finding Nemo and they all have names. But the names are only said, like, so once. And I I can't remember what they are. <laughs> One of them's a hammerhead. Lord Wahoo is in Colorado. Okay, I have been to Colorado. It's quite nice there. Right, so we're now in L Lambda, I think it is, is where we are. Actually, yeah, let's leave that open in case we need to make a hasty exit. Bruce, Anchor, and Chum, thank you. 
Okay, so Chum is the hammerhead because Anchor is the one that has an anchor in his head, which is not the hammerhead. That's a different one. Ah! Fuck you, game. Fuck you. <sighs> anchor is the hammerhead. I thought Anchor Anchor's the one that has a an anchor in his head, and I thought that was not the hammerhead. Catherine. No, I don't think that was Ted. I think that was a different one. No, no, no. Don't look at it. Fuck you. Hello, corner. You're nice. You're a nice corner. Whoop. Fuck. Did it just see me? Name this, name this, please. Name this thing, because this is a different thing. Oh, good lord. Terminal 27 activated. Oh, you found an Omni tool. Very handy. Let's go, yeah, let's go with ju just so... Just a fast. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> Simon, right here. Oh, obviously you're a computer. No, Why would I expect anything too. else? I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong <laughs> way, but I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? Uh, Mystic, what I, I was referring to was the super chat from Ozzy, which was a tongue twister. All right, time Someone plan B. remind me of that B. before oh, I finish the, the stream, tool. and I'll try it again because I would have drunk more alcohol oh, by that point. Yeah, the door opener. Yeah, you can pull my Cortex chip and put it into the Omnitool. What's a Cortex chip? It'll be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on. I just, I need you to do this one thing for me. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door open? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? Rip. All right. Let's give this a try. See, now this is reminding me of fucking Joy in Blade Runner 2049. How? Oh, I've got to stick it over here. Yep. Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project. See you in a bit, Gagalum. I'll oh, probably be well, going for a few more hours. I saved all the people on yeah, the thank station you for as brain in. scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with oh, people fuck. into space? That's yes. in another game. What's it, it called? It was a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's a Sorry, that's bugging me now. I need to check what the name of that game is. There's another game that has that concept in it. Um, it's it's kind of a walking simulator type game, and it has the dude that voices Geralt from The Witcher in it. What is it called? Sorry, bear with me. I need to find it. It's really bugging me. Um.
someone... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm not going to keep the game paused. Someone maybe knows it. How far did you get? I don't know. That it's a sci-fi game that has the dude that voices Geralt in it. came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Yeah, of course. Sure. Um... Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. What was it said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you? Yeah, if I if I minimize the game to have a look, oh. then it it mutes the game. Unfortunately, there's no option to have sound while the game's minimized. Uh, no, it's not Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, although I did play that fairly recently, it's a it's definitely an indie game. Um, you, sp I don't know if walking sim is the correct genre because you basically spend the entire time like walking around and interacting with things. I don't know if there are any puzzles or if there's any gameplay to it beyond that. Um, but yeah, the idea of like, oh, it's, it's, I don't know if it's like an apocalypse type scenario, like this seems to be. Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Or if it's um, like a sort of afterlife type idea where the rich people can pay to have their consciousness before they die uploaded into like a magical, well not magical, but uploaded into like a server that's then blasted into space. Do I know how old the game is? Up to five years old? I, I played it on Humble Bundle a couple of, couple of years ago. Um, I'm liking Soma quite a lot. I... I am enjoying it. There's one part of the game that I remember doing before, and I want to say it's after the, the bit that I'm in now. That, creature was that just took me forever because I couldn't find where I was supposed to go, yeah. so hopefully Please. someone knows. Please. State of Mind, thank you. State of Mind is the name of the game. I would recommend State of Mind. Also, I have uh, potentially a theory on these, like, messed up robots. They're either... Like human consciousnesses that have been put in brains, uh, put put in computers, that have been there for too long, and the hardware has degraded to the point where they're now essentially robot monsters. Or it could be where the like copying process, the uploading process, became corrupted somehow, and that's why they're hostile. That's my guess at this point, but no. Careful! I think it's back. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> uh oh. What are you doing? Be careful. Ah, what the fuck? It was that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait, date. They did lick studios. They're the guys that made the Gollum game. They're also they also made State of Mind. I did not realize that. Oh no, that wasn't it. That's hilarious. Oh, there's more goo. Um, what am I? What am I trying to do? Oh, Cake the Jake, you've been out of the loop. Uh, Lord of Ring Gollum. What happened to the tower? And the dock? And the welcome center? What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's... It's so strange. Check the computer in the Check other Check the computer room. in the other room. Thank you. Thank you, game. And stop scaring me with robots.
Where is the com- I mean, there's computers here. Do I have to switch something on? And, uh, yes, the uh, video that... Mo well, I think it was actually Wolf that put it together, not Mauler, but it's on, I think, Mauler's channel. Of, I think it was him, Metal, J. Longbone, and Az playing Lord of Ring Gollum. Because they all streamed it independently, and then I think it was Wolf made a supercut of the funniest moments, and that video is hilarious. I say supercut, it's like three hours long or something, but it, it is hilarious, because that game is just broken. Well, okay, so she said check the computer in the other room, but there is no computer in the other room. There's a computer there, but I can't do anything with it. Unless I'm in the wrong room. That's probably... that makes a bit more sense. Oh, I can't put myself in that one, apparently. Um, Yeah, who are these barbarians who made a facility with more than one room? Or two rooms, I guess. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor then. I think it's really important we do this. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not gonna be easy. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform, which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. So, TLDR is that the flesh is weak. The ark? Yes, that's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. If you're reading this, you've entered the Ark. The survey is designed to give the devs a better understanding of your subjective... I just had a horrifying thought. What if the developers of Lord of Ring Gollum were behind the Ark? Oh, God, here we go. Um, wait, am I in the Ark? The game is fucking with me again. If I'm in the Ark, something has gone horribly wrong. How would you describe your physical condition? Um, I feel fake, no longer a real person. Hmm. Hmm... I'm a visit. Well, I feel like my body is mine, so I think I'm going to go with number four. How would you describe your mental condition? Um, disconnected. 
How would you describe your senses? Normal, more sensitive, blocked. Lacking natural senses. Um... Let's go more sensitive because of the, the interaction with the bad robots. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Um, hmm. Well, now we're getting into meta-commentary because I'm obviously a person playing a video game. <laughs> and I know that this game has been constructed. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Uh, uh, ooh. Well, I definitely don't feel fine. How do you perceive your new existence? Like a new chapter. All of this, like, AI robot consciousness stuff I find thoroughly interesting, which is part of why I love 2049 so much. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Uh, uh, I, I know what you're doing, game. I know what you're doing. Uh, yes, but with less meaning. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Oh, God. No. I don't think anyone would. Ark Tracker. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Yay! Found it. It's kind of there. See if you can find out where the Ark is. I just did. It's here. Oh, okay, there we go. Has Amy been revived yet? No, I think Amy's gone. Uh, Carl. Carl is still alive. Oh shit, okay, so the Ark is in one of these facilities. Oh, Jesus, okay. We want to find what cupboard it's in. I found it. Oh, no, we got it's it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to five. I almost it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. There's not much to build the future. If we got to it, could... Could we go on the yard? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. My doggy is dreaming underneath Catherine, my desk. Look around. He's twitching. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just... Be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Uh, I guess... Simon. Yeah, she probably can't... This thing won't have a speaker on it, which means she probably can't speak to me. Uh, 
think I've already been in all of these rooms. Um... Yeah, that is still a dead end, okay. What is that? That's not useful. There's goo. That's someone's helmet. Alright, well let's go out and have a look. Swipey, swipey, there we go. So, uh, what games that came out this year would you guys say are the best games of the year? Baldur's Gate 3, obviously. Apart from that, chuck some in chat, because uh, I'm... Off the top of my head, I can't think of ones, but I may have played them. I might be peripherally aware of them, but... Tears of the Kingdom, I don't know if I've heard of. I think someone mentioned it in chat earlier, but I'm not familiar with it. Hardcore... Well, Zelda, I'm... I, I don't... I play PC games, unfortunately, so that's not an option for me. Um, Armored Core 6... Oh, Dead Space Remake, I guess, counts, yeah. Uh, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Uh oh Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information oh. and update the Omni tool. There. Yeah, City Skylines 2 has just out. come out. I've not Great. played it. I, I will play it because I like the first one, but I'm not... I'm not in a rush to play it. Resident Evil 4. So, okay, what is Armored Core 6? Because I, I have not heard of that one. I've heard of a few of these. Also, um, yeah, Cyberpunk is a, probably worth a mention. I've never played it, but supposedly the um, expansion, I guess is what it is, that is meant to be very good. But I don't know if someone can answer, maybe. I, I held out on Cyberpunk because of the disastrous launch. Um... If I were to pick it up with the DLC, how playable... Like, is the is the core of the game any good, or is it still fucked? And then you finish the main story, and then you do the DLC, or the, the expansion, which is good. Is that how it is, or...? Armored Core 6 is like Sekiro, but instead of stealthy ninjas, it's giant robots and guns. Okay, um, I may not play it then, because Sekiro, I think, would just frustrate the living piss out of me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Thank you. Cyberpunk is playable. That's the best I can say about it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of unfortunate because given how... Given how good Witcher is, it's really... They could have just taken their time and released a fantastic game, and they didn't. They released Cyberpunk, like, two years too early. I need more fuel. I need more fuel. Well, I don't have any fuel. You just stay there. So, regarding games like 
Sekiro. I was having a discussion with my brother a, a couple of weeks ago about it, and um, he's played it and he likes it. I have not played it because I know that it's not going to be my kind of game. And on the topic of a difficulty slider, um, kind of my perspective on that kind of thing would be that in any game that I have ever played, I cannot think of a, an example of uh, an, ex an exception to my perspective on this. If time and resources are not a factor, then it is only good for the consumer to have multiple difficulty settings. Um, obviously, that's not feasible for everyone, uh, because you, you don't always have the ability to, you know, commit extra development time into adding multiple difficulty modes. But assuming that you did, there is... It, it would only be a good thing. And what my brother's point was that Sekiro would not abide by that. Because if you lower the difficulty, it would fundamentally change the mechanics of how the game plays. And because I've never played it, I don't know if that's... Like, I, I believe that what he's saying is accurate. I just... I don't... I've, I've not experienced it myself, so I don't know. But, like, one... An example that I would go to for... It's not even really a difficulty slider. There's a game called Not For Broadcast, which is quite fun, um, that I play every now and then with my wife. It's a... I guess a censorship simulator. So the idea is that you're running, like, a TV broadcast station in, like, the 1980s or something, 1970s. And, um, you have to, like, press buttons to get different camera angles. It's all filmed with, like, real-life actors, and it's, it's quite funny. Um, and you have to basically edit the footage together in real time as if you were putting on a real-life, uh, broadcast. And then the characters start swearing, like, they'll, they'll, they'll interview someone who starts swearing, and then you have to, like, bleep them as they swear, kind of thing. Um, and then you have to, you eventually get asked to censor people saying things that are politically against the ideals of the, the station, that kind of thing. Um, and all of that is fantastic as an experience. It's very funny and very engaging to play. And then a couple of hours in, they added this mechanic where also sometimes the, the cameras that you're controlling will go all, like, blurry and fucked. And you have to look out the window and there'll be, like, robots climbing the, the radio tower. And you have to, like, shoot them to get them off the radio tower. So it's this completely superfluous mechanic that just completely ruined both the immersion in the game and my desire to keep playing it. So I checked the options, and you can just turn that off. Thank fucking god they gave you the option to turn that off, because otherwise I would have stopped playing the game. So Eero Lang says, Difficulty is part of the Soulsborne game's experiences. It can't just be removed. I... The only one I've played is... Dark Souls 3, and... I don't know if I agree, because... I definitely would have enjoyed the game more if it was easier. And like, yes, that's my problem, not the game's problem. I completely understand that. But um, if if development time and resources were not a factor and they had infinite time, it is only good for the person buying the game to have multiple options. That's that's kind of my point. And I want to say this bit that I'm in right now is the bit that took me forever because I just kept going around in circles. Horizon 2 I might play. I played the first one and I thought it was very hit and miss. It was enjoyable enough for me to play it through to the end, but I didn't really have any desire to kind of go out of my way to upgrade my gear and... I mean, I did that, but it was like, go and hunt ten of these things to upgrade your crossbow. And I'm like, I don't give a shit, I can just not do that. Um, True says, that depends, right? Would you enjoy Dark Souls 3 more if it was easier or if it was better designed? Um, I'm not exactly sure how I want to answer that. But let's just say that... Uh, so the reason why I stopped playing it, I didn't quite get to the end. The reason why I stopped playing with it was because I just kind of got burned out on it. It wasn't that I got sort of ground up against a boss that I couldn't kill. Um, but I would say that with, like, a boss fight in a video game, unless you're talking about, like, raiding in WoW or something, I personally am going to be a lot less inclined to continue banging my head against the wall uh, to beat it after try, I don't know, 10 
like just doing the same thing on repeat and uh, you know then the boss like one shots me because I pressed the wrong button or something like that it, that's going to make me just want to turn the game off and um, in something like I, I'm not sure how comparable this is but in something like Alien Isolation where the AI of the alien is what makes the experience different um, I know that it's not really a boss fight and that you're not actually having to deal with the alien in the same you're not interacting with the alien in the same way that you're interacting with the bosses in a Dark Souls game but every time you try to get past the alien in theory it's going to be a different experience it's not a case of memorize the dance and press these buttons in the correct nanosecond otherwise you get one shot like that is not I don't find that fun and if uh, if people do find that fun then fantastic but if everyone could find it fun then the game would be better which is uh, essentially that's my perspective and it's it's kind of a I'm not sure how constructive it is as a discussion because no one has infinite resources and infinite time but if that existed fundamentally I do think that that would be a good thing Yeah, this bit here might take me a little while because it all looks very samey and I need to get to one specific place. Um, Zach says, but then not everyone would find it fun because people who like the games as they are right now would be upset. Uh, no, so um, in my, I guess, hypothetical difficulty slider version of the Dark Souls games, what I'm suggesting is not that you make the game easier. What I'm suggesting is that you have multiple difficulty modes. And... Uh, yes, the argument that you could then make is that people who would otherwise have played it on hard and loved it might play it on easy and not like it as much. But then they have the option of going back on a harder difficulty. Like if I... I usually play games on normal or whatever the middle difficulty is. And if I really like the game, I'll go back and I'll play it on hard. Um, like God of War. I played that on normal. I'm definitely going to play it again and I will very likely play it on hard. Witcher, I did the same thing. Alien Isolation, I did the same thing, although on stream I'm playing it on normal. Um, true. Do you have a clue where I'm supposed to go? Because I, I remember this just taking... I had to look up a, a, a walkthrough for this bit when I did this previously, because I do not have a clue where I'm going. Oh, no. Oh, I've pissed him off. Where is the entrance to Lambda? I believe... Well, because I, I got past that pissed off robot once before, and now I've come back this way instead. So I think I'm backtracking now to get to the entrance to Lambda. Which means I'm back to where I was ten minutes ago, I think. Um, yeah, here we go. I'm at the entrance to Lambda now, and here on my right is this little escape pod type thing, and I was told to find another one of them. And I'm pretty sure I went everywhere I was supposed to go, but evidently not. There is a hole in the side of a ship. You need to go to the right. Not down here, surely, because I think this is a dead end. Yeah, it's not there. Okay, so if I go up here... Yeah, so, um, like, I'm not sure, like, I guess the, the meme is, is, a uh, video game reviewer mode, where there are just no, you know, where you almost can't fail, <laughs> and I actually noticed that, I'm, I'm playing through Red Dead Redemption 2 at the moment, and, um, there was a particular mission where, like, the, the game is not very difficult, I thoroughly enjoy it, but it's not very difficult, um, and there was a particular mission where I, for some reason, I just kept dying. I don't know if it's because I didn't have enough ammo or if I uh, hit a dodgy quick save or something. Or do a dodgy checkpoint or something. And um, I failed it like three or four times and then it gave me the option to skip the checkpoint. 
which, I mean, I thought, what, what does that do? And I clicked it, and it literally fast-forwarded me as if I hadn't died. Um, I'm not necessarily saying that have that in every game, because then you're literally just skipping content. <laughs> but, yeah, like, uh, n now that I know what that button does, I'm not going to be pressing that button again, because I actually want to, you know, play the game rather than press, take me to the next mission, please, because I can't do this one. <laughs> Okay, so looking at going to the right, I can't go right here because this thing's in the way. I got past the robot. There's a blue light over here. I don't know if I've been there. So, yeah, Tiberium, what you're saying is essentially my perspective. Um, I wish every game had the option to skip mini-games or stealth segments in non-stealth games. Um, so kind of like um, Mass Effect, I want to say they added this in the, in the Legendary Edition, but it could be that this was the case in the original. I honestly can't remember. But the hacking mini-games, I leave them on because I quite like them. But I can completely understand someone just being like, why do I have to play Snake every time I want to open a door? Like, this is bullshit. I want to play Mass Effect, not this little minigame bullshit every time I hack something. So give them the option to switch it off. And if you want to switch it off, you switch it off. And if you don't, you don't. Um, True says, I'm simply saying you will never design a game that is both challenging and completely accessible. Difficulty modes cannot account for lack of skill, and some players will not have it. That's true. However, if you had a, uh, three difficulties instead of one, then you would increase the number of people who are able to play the game. No, can't go down there. Under the sea, we're lost under the sea. I'm kind of just trying to follow a wall and see where I get to. Not necessarily see what brought me to Dark Souls 1 was the infamous difficulty. Were it not famous for that, I never would have played the game. Um... Sure, but that's not necessarily referring to the quality of the game. You're saying that the reason why you personally checked out the game was because everyone was going, holy shit, this game is really hard, you have to try it. Like, that's a mark... It, well, calling it a marketing thing is maybe oversimplifying it, because it's not like they deliberately did that, but... Um, the, the reason why the game spread due to word of mouth is because it was really hard. That doesn't necessarily mean that the game is good or bad as a result of being really hard. I'm now back where this robot is, so I I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. It seems like down here there is just nothing. And yeah, uh, Sebastian and Pilgrim, uh, your perspectives are pretty much the same as mine, which is why I'm very hesitant to try something like Elden Ring. Uh, even though I've heard that it's fantastic, I just... I think it would frustrate me. Okay, there's this thing on the side that I can't get through. And True says, yes, but if you are saying more people will enjoy it, I never would have enjoyed it because I never would have tried it. You're not wrong, but the reason why you would have never tried it is because you would have never heard about it because of the difficulty, which I think is different to saying that the game needs to be hard in order to be what it is, I guess. I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly, but... Like, if we if we start under, under the presumption that you are the consumer and you are going to buy a game and you are going to play it, then you're, you're already 
we've already kind of acknowledged that you are going to play it. So whether you heard about how hard this game was from a friend isn't really a factor in what I'm referring to here. Uh, but what you're talking about is that's absolutely uh, valid because there are also games that I've tried purely because I heard about through word of mouth. Okay, I am... Um, I've been walking around here for about 15 minutes and I have absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to go, so I am going to look up where I'm supposed to go unless someone is able to tell me. Because I can't really see two feet in front of my face, which is obviously by design, but also I uh, have just gone round in a big circle about three times. We've got this big, like, flat thing with a thing next to it. We've got the evil robot that I don't really want to get back to. And yes, Pep Pepina, you can get lost in Soma. I remember I did this before. I got lost right here. No, that doesn't help me. And yeah, I also don't particularly like getting lost in games because I want to play the game, not find where the game is so that I can play it. Um, which is maybe a problem that I have with open world games if they're designed so as to allow that to happen. There must be a ship somewhere with a large breach in its hull. Well, you say that. I saw something that looked kind of like a ship, but it, I don't think it was a ship. This thing over here. Okay, if it's, if it's not this here, true, then I will go back to Lambda and then you can tell me where to go if that, if you are able. Yeah, that's not a ship, that's just a, oh, it's a submarine. But there doesn't appear to be a hole in its hull. Yeah, there's definitely not a hole in it. I need to go slow because this mean old robot is down here. And yeah, cool man, I kind of, in, in particular this bit here, I... I, I, not having a HUD is great for the immersion, but not having a map, it, yeah, okay, fine, good, good for the immersion. Not having any kind of indication as to where I'm supposed to go and just going around in a circle. Like, the, the options I have now are Google it. Or just run around in circles. <laughs> oh fuck, it needs blood. I'm running. Fuck you. Uh, Evie says, random, what is the most difficult game you would say you have ever played? Ever played or ever finished? Because... I don't know. I mean, Dark Souls 3 is, is definitely towards the top of the list, but I don't usually play those kinds of games. Go back to the small ship next to Lambda. Yep, that's where I am now. Um, Witcher 3, I've played virtually all of it on the hardest difficulty, although I can't remember exactly what that's called. Wait, are you serious? So all of that over there was nothing? When you leave the pod that did not work, turn left, you should find a stream of light. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Well, thank thank you. We got another friendly robot here. So that whole bit that I was just exploring was nothing. Death March, thank you. Yeah, I played virtually the whole thing on Death March. I had to turn down the difficulty for the final boss. I played the entire thing on Death March, but the final boss, I... I don't know if he was numerically unkillable, but maybe it was my build, I have no idea, but it was a case of hit him for 20 minutes, and if you make one mistake, you die. And I'm not about that, so I turned down the difficulty and killed him. Um, that was the pre prelude to Lambda. Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, it's a thingy, it's a person. No, no. Not you again. If I close my eyes, they can't see me. Um, yes, Frog, uh, Eridin. 
Every, and, and that's that's the thing that I find a bit weird, is there's a whole bunch of bosses that you do in fairly quick succession towards the end of Witcher 3. And I won't say they were easy, but they were they were doable. Um, whereas, yeah, Eredin, I, I don't know if he was numerically impossible, but I'm not I'm not just going to grind against the same thing for like hours and hours and hours. And if I make one mistake, I die. Um, yeah, er Eredin on Death March. He's the only one that I, I just couldn't do. And I, I don't... Maybe it was that I, I was not, I don't know, high enough level. I didn't have enough skill points. I got to the fight too early. I have no idea. Because on normal, when I played through the game the first time... I killed Eredin first try. So... He should have... I mean, I, I don't believe he was the hardest boss first time, but on Death March he was... Yeah, Imlarith I definitely killed on Death March. And I also found it quite funny that uh, the last boss in Witcher 3 I found easier than the first boss in Witcher 2. Which is why I haven't played Witcher 2 <laughs> beyond the first boss. Oh, and yes, Zack, that boss there. So I, came, I I played the beginning of Witcher 2 and I was like, this game is way too fucking hard. I'm not interested. Um, and then I played Witcher 3 and was like, okay, this is... Uh, I'm enjoying this a lot. And then I got to that boss, the first Wild Hunt guy that you fight, which is the one you're referring to. And that took me multiple tries and I was like, this this is really hard, but I, I love this game so much I don't want to switch it off. What are we doing? What are we doing? There's a wild something. What are we... Ah, fuck! No, leave me alone. Uh, so, cool man, I disagree. I This right here is very, very, very claustrophobic. Or is it... Uh, what's the... Uh, no, it's not claustrophobic. Agoraphobia? Uh, the fear of, like, wide open spaces. But then at the same time... I am p quite possibly the only person left. Uh, I, if I'm not, I'm the only person that is here. And I'm a buttfuck number of miles away from anything else. So I would say it's doing, I think, yeah, agoraphobia, yeah. So it's not, it isn't claustrophobia, but it, it is, it is definitely doing both. Oppressive atmosphere, that's the, that would be the word. Because you can't, you cannot get out. That's the thing I need, I think. Yeah, Witcher 1 I didn't find particularly hard, but I also stopped playing it after a couple of hours because it was too buggy. But yeah, Witcher 1 is completely different to 2 and 3. I'm going to open my next drink. One sec. And true, yeah, that's kind of what I mean, is that there is, you know, you escape from this and it's like, oh, cool, I've I've escaped into nothingness. So that's kind of why the only option, uh, assuming that all of the information we've had so far has been accurate, the only option is to, up, is to uh, I assume, upload yourself into the Ark. And it's like, well, that is that not claustrophobia incarnate? Because you're on a hard drive at that point. Ah, oh, it's the shark again. Oh, do I need to go inside? Yes, I probably do. There's a person-sized hole in this building. And a ladder. There we go. Oh, what are we drinking today? So, um, I have a bottle of Scully Cider. And I finished my bottle of Gentleman Jack earlier. I didn't have the whole bottle, don't worry. At least not tonight, I didn't. Help me, door. Are you an anime fan? Not in the slightest.
Um, yeah, Box Fox, you're you're not wrong because yeah, if if we do upload ourselves into the Ark, then you're experiencing whatever virtual reality is inside the Ark. But I'm going to assume that you would know, unless they wipe your brain, that 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 is a virtual reality. You're going to know that you're the only person left. Right, we're in. Let's find a work. And that you're actually at the bottom of the ocean, and that if anything happens, although no, I guess it's going to get blasted into space, which is I guess the ultimate agoraphobia. <laughs> Oh dear, there's not going to be a happy ending to this game, is there? Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? The game is fucking with me now. Ah! No, 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 no. I think I need to go in there. No, no, fuck you. Good lord. Fuck you. Door, close. Fuck you. God damn it. Ah, it's setting up with the damage to it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. If one door can't help me, two doors will. I don't like it. Oh, uh, no. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. Here's an idea. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. Is it? I think it's coming. It's right fucking there. Where the fuck? Get out. What out? Ah, where's I go? Where's the out? Where's out? I can't open it. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Uh, I can't open that door. I literally can't. I'm dead if it sees me. I assume. Um. Meep. Yes, we open the door. Yeah, I can't open that door. Um, okay. Sorry, there was a question in chat I was going to answer before I shat myself. Um. Where is it? Zach, I think you've been asked before, but have you seen things like Death Note or Cowboy Bebop? Those are usually ones people recommend to someone not interested in anime. Cowboy Bebop, no, but I've heard of it. Death Note, I have seen both live-action versions. I have never seen the anime. Um, one of the live-action versions is substantially better than the other. Yeah, so there's, um, there was a Netflix version from, uh, I, uh, maybe five years ago, and that was unbelievably terrible. English, English language version. Um, and then there's a, I don't know what language, but it's not English. Um, I don't know if it's, I, I literally, I can't remember if it was Chinese or Japanese, I'm not sure. Um, and that one was very good. Well, I say very good. No! Fuck you! Oh, god damn it, game! We can't keep doing this! We can't keep doing this! Ah! Fuck you! <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> I survived, but I'm dead! <laughs> oh, god damn it.
Wait, I respawned and I'm going to die again? Is that how that works? Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so to be clear on what I was saying with Death Note, so I watched the... Th there's the Netflix version, which is just... It's shit. It's, like, unwatchably bad. Um, then there's the... Apparently, you guys are saying in chat, Japanese live-action version. And when I first watched it, I was like, this is really... Really contrived and really weird. Um, and then I thought about it a little bit more, and I had a discussion with Ryan, who made... He, well, I say made me. He chose it us to watch it. He chose that as a film for us to watch. Um, and a lot of the problems that I had with it are problems, I think, based on my perception of the film. Um, I'm trying to think how I can maybe explain it without spoiling anything, but, um, no, 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 you don't know I'm here. You don't know I'm here. Go away. So the, um, conceit of the film is that there is a magic book that if you write someone's name in it, then they will die. It, it hence a death note. Um, and, oh god. Yeah, I don't know if I'm good to go. I don't know if I'm good to leave. Yeah, um, so you write someone's name in the death note and then they will die. That's the that's the mechanic of the story, which is obviously sci-fi fantasy, or however you want to call it, supernatural bullshit. Um, but then they add this extra bit that I had a hard time buying, which was that if you write a sentence before that and you say, so-and-so will win the lottery and then they will die, then the the death note would make that happen. And I, I had, I couldn't really accept that, even though I should have been able to accept that. No, fuck off! Jesus Christ! Come on, come this way. Oh my god, it's moving quickly. I'm gonna run into it, aren't I? Fuck you, fuck you, suck my balls, suck my balls. We're gonna sit here and look away. We're actually going to slowly close that door. There we go. Um, Tiberium, yeah, so... Th this is this is part of the thing, and I, again, I really don't want to get into spoilers, and I don't remember the film particularly well, but... Um, for most of the narrative payoffs to function in the, in the Japanese live-action version of Death Note, it requires that... The book, literally, it's a magic book that will warp reality and whatever you write in the book will happen. As long as it ends with a person dying. And, okay, if those are your rules, great. But while watching it, I had a hard time buying that those are the rules, but that's that's kind of a me problem, not a film problem. Why is the fucking door open? I closed you. Those images are not particularly useful. Okay, let's continue and see if we can get anywhere. No, no. Hello, corner. You're a nice corner. Uh, True says, in terms of where the halfway point is, right after you get to the Dunbat. I won't spoil anything, but... You're at best halfway there. So, my objective at this point is to get to the Dunbat. I'm, I'm, I take it. No, no, corner. We're still looking at the corner. Uh oh. And yeah, Aussie, what you just wrote is essentially the, uh, the problem that I had with it, is that the uh, the amount of bullshit that 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 those rules open the world of the film up to, it, it was ridiculous. Uh, Ozzy's comment for anyone listening is, imagine anything you write in it happens and at the end of it one person dies. Humanity achieves utopian perfect Star Trek-like peace and in one year then Dave dies, Dave from work dies. That kind of thing. 
Right, door. How are we feeling today, door? We're gonna be nice. No, we're not nice. We're not a nice door. Close. Hello, corner, my old friend. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna look at this door. I also don't exactly know what happens if I just look at the door and not at the beastie. Can it kill me? I don't know. Because right now I know that I need to go somewhere, I just don't know where, and I can't get there because there's a spooky in the way. Oh, uh, true, I just saw your message. Um, thank you for the help, and if you need to jump off, no worries. I... I'm sure I'll be fine. I probably won't be, but I will try my best. But if you're saying that when I find the Dunbat, that's halfway, I might call the stream there, but it depends on how long it takes me to find the Dunbat. Because I'm, I'm not going to end early, but um, I definitely want to get to halfway. It's coming. Fuck you, it's coming. Door, come on. There we go. How long are you planning on streaming? So usually I do about six hours, which uh, I finish at, at what? About two o'clock UK time? Stop it! Leave me alone! I like the corner. The corner is nice. Um, so if I do the same, we're at nearly three hours now, which would mean I'm going to do probably three more hours. But like I said, if I get to halfway in one hour, I'll keep going. Um, I will decide when it gets to that time. But I usually don't go much past six hours. That said, if something big story-wise is about to happen and you guys want me to keep going, then I might. No! 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 Meat! Meat, meat, meat. Big fucking meat. Hello, corner. I like this wall. No! Let's sneak a peek. No! <laughs> oh, fuck you. Ah, no, 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 no. Just go the other way. Go somewhere else. Ah, fuck, fuck, fucking bollocks. Jesus Christ. I'm not looking. No, I'm a good boy. You can't see me. I'm just not going to look. Let's go this way. Uh, Truffle, I don't see a previous message. Is that a skull? That's a pelvis! I'm not staying in this room. Fuck you! Oh, come on, you've got to be joking. And I can't close this. I'm... Wh Why? Hello, stairs. Let's just look at the stairs for a little bit. 
Um, yeah, so... I don't see a message from you, Truffle, that says anything about Amazon, but on... So what I can see on my screen is live chat. What you guys can see on the stream is top chat. So the fact that I can't see it means that it didn't even go through to live chat, and I have absolutely no idea why. Also, hello, wife. I'm playing Soma, and it's, uh, it's making my pants go brown. I don't even know if this was the right way to go, but now I'm fucking cornered with this bell end stopping me from going anywhere. Um. Oh yeah, what we didn't name this monster. What's his name? His name can be Wu. <laughs> no, we're not calling him Kronk. Let's just call him Wu. I like Wu. Go away, Wu. There's nothing in there. Fuck off, Woo. No. 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 That door won't open. That door won't close. Are you joking? That table won't table. Okay, okay. We're just going to hide in the corner here. Yes, wife, I'm going to read that. I was telling, or she was telling me the other day about a book she's reading in which otters are used to deliver messages. And I said, without pause, you are not having an otter. Because I think I knew what was coming next. Although I think I'd rather have an otter than a ferret. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Woo. Where, where are you, Woo? You're somewhere down there. I have not got a clue where I'm supposed to go here, and I'm kind of stuck in here. Ah, fuck off. Fuck off. Corner. me. So what I don't know is, can I can I just run past Wu without looking at him, and then I'm good? Ah, oh, come on. Go the other way. I need to... I need to go that way. Come on. Gun it. I can't gun it. I mean, unless I gun it without looking at him, but... Ah! Fuck you! No! Ozzy, I don't think I can physically run past him. I think if I go near him, I die. Was that? Oh, I thought it was a crab that was in there. Okay, um, right, I'm gonna, we're gonna, this is our new strategy. Woo can't stop us if we can't see Woo. But then I also can't see where I'm supposed to go. Uh-oh. I think Woo's looking at me. <laughs> oh god, why did I do this? Shit. <laughs> Leave me! <laughs> I'm staying here because I want to test it. Yeah, it's going to kill me. Yeah, it's killed me. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So you can't just do that. Jesus Christ. Nah! Woo! Ooh, a thingy. How, how the hell did I not see that before? Shut up, Woo! Oh, 
I'm not sure what turning that crank did. Because I had to hide immediately. I guess it opened a door is my guess. No, stop it. Leave me alone. Ah, well, I opened the door. That's not good. I think it went right. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Oh my god, ladder! Yes, ladder, thank you! Fucking hell. Bye, Woo. Also, welcome, Danny. I hope you enjoy. I'm kind of enjoying this, although my heart is on its last legs. And Truffle is trying to lure my wife with promises of otters. Wait, otters and owls? What kind of sanctuary is this? Why is there a sideways toilet? Yeah, let's make sure Wu... I don't think Wu knows how to climb ladders. I mean, I guess sideways poos? Yeah, it, for real, like really bad turbulence. <laughs> no, it's not turbulence, is it? If it's in a boat, what's it called? Or is it turbulence? What's it called? Am I being really dumb here? Is it called turbulence? Huh? What? Oh, you made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Uh, ah, oh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. Engine room. Of course. There. Like the ones we saw at Landa. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. Wait, I, I don't... I know, I know. I'm going. I don't have to... I don't have to go back down to Wu, because I feel like he's going to be angry with me. Wait, hold the fuck... No, this isn't... This isn't where I thought I was. Okay. Ooh. Clothes. I'm not sure what this is. I'm sending Wu a potato. I don't think that's a potato. I think there's another Wu. There's something. That's ah, a fucking Wu! Leave me alone. Scrappy's running the Discord. What are we? Scrappy's asleep at my feet. What are we? What are we talking about? And if you need, yeah. So I, I wasn't sure if that was correct. So if you need air for turbulence, what's it called when you have? Because turbulent waters is a thing. But what is? What is it called when you're on a boat and it's all like, you know, sideways? <laughs> Leave me alone, Wu Part 2. Or we. Let's call this one we. No! Fuck off, we! No, uh, no, rough seas. But, like, rough seas is multiple words. There's, like, a single word for it, I swear. No, no, no! Ah, uh, fucking Wee's coming. Ah, 
No, no, I'm staying here. You can't make me look at you, wee. I'm gonna have some of my cider to make myself feel better. I mean, I hope Destroyer comes back to save me. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've got to go this way, but I can't... I mean, I... I can't, literally, because it... It's there. Oh, Destroyer is what uh, I think Gagalum decided to name the little robot that, like, helped me earlier. The little, like, woolly looking floaty boy. I, I can't remember what it was called. Well, I mean, it, it didn't have a name, but yeah, we called it, we called it Destroyer. What are those things? They look like... People, really messed up people. I think they could be dead people brought back. To life? Sure. Well, let's call it that. Right, I need we to. My dog is twitching. I need we to walk past this so I can go right to where he was. And yeah, I was kind of right in my guess about the robots. The bad robots. Okay, I think I think I potentially know what I'm supposed to do here. So I'm going to try it. It, it might be a stupid idea, but I'm going to do it. That's, yes, Gagalum, that's what I'm going to do. Although human bait might be a uh, misnomer here. Hello! Chase me, Wee, chase me! Chase me, you fuck! Come on, we. Come on. Come on, we. This way. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Come on, keep running. Keep running. I don't know where I'm going. I better not hit a dead end. My monitor's about to turn off. No, it's fucking not. Oh, this is a dead end. That's not good. No, 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 no. Run! Run, bitch! Where are we going? Run! Keep going! Come on, door! I can't close the door! Uh, it might be this way, I don't know. It's not that way. I don't know! I'm gonna hide here. Hello, corner. You're my new favorite person. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't... Don't look for me, Wee. I'm not up here. I think we're good. I think we made it. Although I think we followed us. What am I- what am I looking for? I'm looking for, like, the engine room or something. Fuck off!
Right, I think we're okay. Engine room. This looks like an engine room. Oh, this is the... Okay, um... Hold on. Alright, well I guess we're unplugging some... something. There's something in here. Oh, Jesus, that's loud. Okay. Drink more bravery juice to protect yourself from the monsters. Alright, yeah, let's have some more bravery juice. Hold on. The fuck? Oh, Jesus! Oh, hamburgers! Oh, good lord. No. No. It's coming. I don't know any way. I forgot about the way. Which way is it? I think it's this way. Jesus fucking Christ, where do I go? Down. Down, keep going. Fuck you, which way? This way, maybe? I think we're good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. In, in, and we're in. Go, go. Oh, fucking hell, Jesus Christ. We need to pump all the water out before we take off. Can't you do it any faster? Thank you for telling me to drink the bravery juice. That was much needed. Although I think I wouldn't talk about it. All right, here we go. Hold on to something. Good lord. Can you steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Was that the ship? Well, that's Looks comforting. Like your sabotage worked better than expected. Uh oh. Freeze for impact! Bang! Bang! Hold on, the flash just pushed us off the plateau. What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. I don't think we're dead yet. I think we're I think we're possibly getting there. I don't know if Amy it no, no, it's not Amy. Amy's dead. Who's this who's the one that's in the thing? Oh god damn it, my dog just farted. Ah Why? Oh. Oh, is it Destroyer? Is Destroyer helping me? Why, if you should stay and watch, it'll scare you shitless. Look, this is Destroyer. He's helped us. Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Yay! Don't worry, Kath. I'll find a way to Theia. Catherine is the one that's in my... 
something he... Oh, it's a crab. We found Sebastian under the sea. See you later, wife. See you on... Whenever it is, Sunday. And yeah, Destroyer is back and he's following me. Destroyer is the MVP. Right, this bit I also remember taking a little while. Because I kept getting lost. So I'm gonna... Try not to go around in circles and see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can work out what I'm doing. Yeah, nobody goes off trail and nobody walks alone, except for when they do and it totally works out okay for them. But then sometimes they do and it gets people killed, so like, who, the, who knows? Honestly, who knows? Do we- do you guys think that the other Harfoots, the- the- like, all of the characters that aren't Nori and Gandalf, do you think they're gonna be in Season 2? Because I don't think they are. I think that storyline is done, and I think that the purpose of it was to set up the Nori Gandalf plot. Um, but I, of course, could be wrong. I, I just I don't know what they could possibly do with those characters from now on, unless we see them go and like make the shy. Oh, for fuck's sake! No, no, <laughs> no! <laughs> I think I just worked out what's going to happen. So Nori's going to go off on her adventure with Gandalf. They're going to do the thing, and then she's going to go back to, quote-unquote, the Shire, and it's going to turn out that the Harfoots had, like, populated it or something. That's what's going to happen. So I don't think that the Harfoots will be in Season 2, but I think that when Nori finishes doing whatever it is that she's doing, uh, it will end with her in the Shire with the other Harfoots. Or where they go, like, ah, oh, we hit, I heard there's a, there's a place that's, like, kind of west of here, and it's all... it's kind of shire -y, maybe. There are some who call it a shire, <laughs> you know, that, just that kind of thing, I don't know. So I think that will happen. I think we'll see them again, I just don't think it'll be season two. Good robot. Thank you, Destroyer. Pressurized... Ooh. Oh, it's a thing, I put my thing in. Let's do that. Yay! I'm feeling gooier already. Ooh, this might be useful. So... I can't remember which one I was at. I was- I think I was at... Theta? I can't remember. Ooh, there's the. Well, it's not red, it's green, which means it might be okay. I'm sweating in this suit. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get to Theta. Don't stand there. You know better than that. Hey, you. Don't worry about it. I got this. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> I think I need some vacation soon. Have to speak with oh, Acres about that. Isn't that right, Acres? Yeah, Truffle, I'm honestly looking forward to it. Because, <laughs> um, I, I have my theories as to where it's going to go. But I, at the same time, I, I'm kind of curious to see what extra shit they add. Because they're, go they're going to introduce, like, new characters and new plot threads, and I'm really curious to see what they do. Like, in particular, yeah. the uh, Khazad Doom stuff. Um, I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'm not going to say it has the potential to be good, but it definitely has the potential to be entertaining and maybe interesting? I don't know. Maybe? Because where it ended, where season one ended, was like, um... Deesa's, like, gonna Lady Macbeth the shit out of, uh, Durin the Second. Um... Ooh. And also there's a Balrog for some reason. You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit into them? He got me pretty bad. I think I'm even worse at pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? Fuck. He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them! Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead, remember? The Lumor Annex should work. It has to. 
You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Well, he was right about Come that. Come on, Evans. We have to warn him. Come on. No, Earthgui, I think it'll be the other way around. I think the other Harfords, while they're off screen, are going to start the Shire. Um, and then that's where Nori will end up at the end of the series. That is my guess. Because I feel like we probably will see those characters again. They just don't... There is no obvious purpose they can possibly serve in Season 2. So I think they'll, they'll pop back in as like a... You know, whenever Nori finishes doing what she's doing, it's like, right, it's time to go home, except we... Uh, there is, you know, I kind of don't have a home because, you know, I'm a half and all that. And then Gandalf will be like, oh, I told them to, like, there's a shire, you got to go there. They got, like, pipe weed and mushrooms or something. <laughs> Dustin, no. You should not watch Rings of Power. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, that is a that is an interesting idea. I could I could do a, a quick video of, like, predictions of what I expect from Season 2. Um, yeah, that might be entertaining. I'm also... Uh, I might do, like, a live reaction to the trailer whenever it comes out, but then at the same time I might just avoid the trailer. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Um, like, like what I did with Season 1. When I do Episode 1... I am not going to look at social media because I do not want to know anything that happens in episodes two and three while I'm doing episode one. Um, so, like, every now and then something got spoiled for me for season one, but I kind of want to do each video one by one without knowing what's going to happen later. Oh, and thingy, we can put our thing in there. Okay, let's do that. So, um, uh, HP, so my, uh, again, having not read the books, going entirely from the films, Saruman is absolutely more powerful than Gandalf the Grey. However, as Gandalf says when he comes back as Gandalf the White, I am Saruman, or rather Saruman as he should have been. Um, I think the idea there, as we see in the only extended, for some reason, version of Return of the King, is that, um... Gandalf the White is straight up more powerful than Saruman. Um, so whoever it is that sent Gandalf back got it right this time. A That's a long drop. Let's not go that way. But this is the thing, is that I'm I'm drawing purely from the Peter Jackson films because I haven't read the books. Careful, and Simon. the Careful. writers of Rings of Power are supposedly not doing that. They're supposedly drawing from the books as well, which means it's a separate adaptation. So, they don't need to acknowledge anything that was explicitly depicted in the Peter Jackson films. They only... I mean, if they're, if they're doing their jobs right, they only really need to be acknowledging stuff from the source material. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, I think the chances of that character, the stranger, not being Gandalf, are minimal. Um, but if it turns out... I mean, he's, he's essentially a blank slate of a character. And the fact that season one ended with Always Follow Your Nose, they've made it explicit that they want him to be Gandalf, or they want you to think that he is Gandalf. Like, it was implied much earlier than that, but it, it's now explicit. Always Follow Your Nose, it's a Gandalf line, he said the thing, and they clap like seals. Um, if they then change their minds and, oh, actually, it's Saruman, then that just means that they lied to the audience. <laughs> oh, uh... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Gagalim, I will watch the Season 2 trailer on stream if you would like. Although I'll need to work out 
exactly how to do that because... Yeah, I guess I could like play and pause it and do it like that. That's goo. I don't like the goo. What the fuck is all this? Oh, it's eyes. Okay, why would it be something nice? It's eyes, of course. What does this say? The light is hurting my eyes. He's telling me I don't need this... Vi vis something flesh inside. Oh, there we go. Vitreous flesh inside my skull to see salvation. I will gladly remove them. Stop them from obfuscating this divine mission. Uh, yes, those are the most metalist lyrics that I've ever heard. I can't pick up his eyes. Or can I? Oh, I can! <laughs> there we go. I'm not playing chess. And what does this say? My reflections in the black blood of our warden whispers. I need to save them from this hell. Let them sleep. Lock them in the lucid dreams I've seen. More death metal lyrics. Fantastic. Um, Evie says... Hold on. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything in this room. No, I don't think I did. Evie says, did you hear about J.J. Evans got the... It helped the Rings of Power Riders when the first season got the job. I heard that he, like, put in a good word for them or whatever, because I think J.J. Abrams had worked with them before, but that's all I really heard. Oh, hello. Help me out here, will you? Um... Levin Wisser, hello. So can you do a real quick sum up of the lore of this game that you're playing? I'm afraid I'm not quite catching up. Okay, so what's... Essentially what's happened so far is at the very beginning of the game, I there was a car crash and my brain got scrambled, so I went to a doctor who scrambled it a bit more. And then kind of the walls came down and I uh, woke up in like this ruined facility that was then revealed to be underwater. There's hostile robots and... Uh, non-hostile robots who believe that they are people and there is something called the Ark which seems to be some kind of I don't, I don't know if fail safe is the right word but it seems to be some kind of hard drive type utopia thing where uh, the survivors of an apocalypse on the surface world have been uploaded into so that they can live forever in a virtual world. I'm trying to find that and presumably upload myself into it because I'm the last survivor. But as for what actually happened down here, um, it is still a bit of a mystery, but it has to do with human consciousness uh, possibly being uploaded into, uh, well, computerized hardware. And uh, it going wrong in some cases. And at the moment, I'm trying to find a thingy that gets me from point A to point B, and I can't remember where it is, so I'm just going to follow the train tracks. It's going to just be a circle, isn't it? It was a circle. Okay, well, that's fine. Coolman says, have you played the old I have no mouth and must scream game? Are you referring to Scorn? Um... If so, no, I have not. And I've also heard that it's not very good. Have I been in this one? I'm not sure if I've been in this one. Also, if anyone's played this before and they know where I'm supposed to go, please tell me, because I'm, at the moment, just kind of wandering around trying to find the thing. Yeah, I've already been up here. Oh, Zack says there is literally a game named I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. No, I'm not familiar with that. Don't follow the lights, except maybe this time. Oh, hello, crab. I don't think the crab's going to help me here, though.
That one I've already been in. This is the one that had the dead person in it. This is the train track looking thing. What is this over here? I don't think I've been in here. Oh, Zeppelin transport. This might be where I need to be. Hello? Uh... I guess it doesn't matter which one we go for. Uh, well, again, we wouldn't want to make things too easy. Okay, right, so I've got to do a thing to turn on the thing. Antenna. The antenna is kind of nearby. I guess I've got to... Here we go. Most cringe moment in Rings of Power. I would need to refresh my memory. Strasky? You can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Possibly the, the Balrog. System, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Volget did say that you could have fixed it on your side by redigging the antenna. Oh, no, hold on. Wounded and children. That's up there. No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> uh, see you soon, Brandon. Happy evac. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. Uh, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just... Make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> Zach, you are absolutely right. Sorry. Uh, the most cringe moment in Rings of Power is there is a tempest in me. That uh, that wins. I, I, <laughs> I don't remember all of the rest of it off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure that wins. Apparently I've already been in here, but I didn't... Oh, that's where the fucking map is. Okay. So I need to do something to turn on the antenna. Oh, okay. That was a person. And looking at it is fucking with my seeing eye bits. Okay. Um... Levin says, can Rings of Power potentially be saved? Honestly, can any writer correct the pile of fecal matter the writers have produced so far? I'm pretty much, I believe I said this in my last Rings of Power video, that unless you literally go like, it was all a dream, let's start again. No, because it's one thing to have broken characters and then make them act in a way that isn't broken. But what they've done is they've made a broken world, which means that if you have functional characters in the broken world, you can't, or at least I can't, believe anything that they do. So you, you can't fix the world unless you reset. And they're obviously not going to do that, so... Like, every now and then, you know, we may have good scenes. But overall, will the show be good? No, I don't think that's possible at this point. Um... Okay, I need to know where I'm supposed to go. Has anyone played this before? And where is the antenna? Where am I meant to go? Because we're in another situation where it's underwater and I can't see shit, and, uh... Yeah... Contro well, the control room I've already been to, but I'll see if I can find it again. I remember having to do something in that dome you had to climb the ladder to get in. So I've been in there twice and I didn't see... There was... I could interact with a corpse, but it didn't let me do anything. I'll see if I can find the control room and all, all that. I mean, whichever... I honestly don't know where I'm going, so we'll get to whichever one we get to first. Because I can't see anything. Ooh, a thingy. What does this do? Oh shit, is this it? This is the antenna. Wow, we just accidentally lead ourselves to the right place. Um.
Link established. We're good. I think. Maybe. No? Right, hold on. Antennas is... It needs to go towards green, which is 840... No, it needs to go towards... Top right, which is yellow 049, I guess, is what that is. Zero four nine. There we go. Huzzah! Wait, is it working? Unspecified cargo. Yay! Zeppelin's on its way. Oh, there's another part, like, dead goo person. Okay, that's not good. Okay, once I get on the Zeppelin, I gotta go for a tinkle, and then I will be back. Hey, bleeders, welcome. It's definitely the Zeppelin. Yeah, it's the Zeppelin. Uh, While well, this is landing, for anyone who wasn't here at the beginning of the stream, we are at... I don't know, maybe the midway point-ish, possibly. Um, I have finished the final autopsy of Rings of Power. It has passed... Uh, no, of course I finished that one. The final autopsy of The Hobbit. It has passed the YouTube copyright checks uh, with no resistance. And um, I plan on releasing it in a week's time. No, Gagalim, I've not done a Wii yet. Of course you do. I wanted to let you know that I know. You didn't blindly beg me out of the herd. The slow waves of Delta crashing against the shore had an undertow that pulls you into a slumber. It's a beautiful thing. And I won't be selfish. I will help. Tuck them in. Watch them sleep. They too will find peace within the universe of the WoW. Uh, Truffle, feel free to time me if you really want, but I'm not just going for a wee. I'm also going to go and grab a snack, so <laughs> I might be a minute or so. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ah, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Is oh, no. Look who's been paying attention. We have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. Oh, God damn it. Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us a chip. Well then. Moral quandary intensifies. Right. I do need to go for a wee quickly and grab a snack, so I'll be back in a minute or two. See you momentarily.
Right, we're back. We're good to go. Um, tree man, I don't know if you're psychic, but I literally did just go and get a cookie. Guess I have no choice. Zap. Right, sorry. Oh, wait, no. I'm not going to zap this one. Do I zap this one? I don't want to zap this one. This one's nice. I'm going to go zap the other one. Oh, for fuck's sake, the game is actually giving me the choice here. Hold on. Because we've got the one that doesn't seem to be conscious but has helped us, and we've got the one that is conscious but is a dick. Um... I guess... I mean, I guess it's got to be this one, because we don't... I will not suffer a dick to live. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. I think I made it angry. Well, you should have thought of that. Get back out. Right. We got him. Sorry. This works. I don't think we named him. Let's name him posthumously. Oh, he's happy that he lives. Right. Destroyer gets to live. Richard. Yeah, Richard. We can call him Richard. So Richard died so that Destroyer could live. Can you die in this game and have to restart? So, yes, you can. Thanks, However, I believe the checkpoint Don't system that, basically okay? spawns you where you we died. Really I think. I've died like two we, or three times so far. Here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, it was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Where's the go button? There it is. Thanks. And yeah, it's uh, this is definitely easier if we don't think about it. I don't think I want to jump out of this. Oh, is that the submarine? Is that where Pickles or whatever his name is is? See you later, cool man. Enjoy prepping your D and D. That reminds me, actually. I am um, going to be doing a one shot with the guys that a D and D really session there, with the guys that I usually play D and D with for Christmas. And it'll be the first time DMing one. On and I came up with some pretty goofy there. ideas, and then I needed to ask a friend for help, <laughs> who has DM'd before, and he's made me some fantastic, meters. like, enemy data sheets that I'm going to use. Though, because with the Dunbat, they are going to bend in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? 
I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Well, Speaking you say that, which, but they're all dead, you think? Theta, I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. So I'm pretty sure that this is as far as I got previously, because I definitely did this before. I don't think I ever actually went inside Theta. Um... Do you hear me speaking? Yeah, hold on. Of course you do. I wanted to let you know that I know. You didn't blindly pick me out of the herd. The slow waves of Delta crashing against the shore had an undertow that pulls you into a slumber. <sighs> oh, did I just interrupt him? Do you hear me speak? Oh, I don't care. Right. Um, how do I... Yoink. Come on, open. There we go. Yeah, Mystic, sorry, I did see your message. Um, yeah, if you want to make something like that, I, I can't promise that, like, I'll use it in a video or anything. Um, but, like, people post that kind of stuff all the time on Discord, um, and they're often made into, like, memes or... Like, if I find them funny, I'll turn them into emojis. Someone earlier did a Bard as Gaston emoji, which was quite funny, so I added that to the server. Check the art channel in the on the Discord if you're... If you haven't had a look already. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Comoravia and the others? This is all we got. The guest is still at Delta. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. And yeah, the gas don is fantastic. Ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. Okay, anyone in chat who has played the game before, could you, if possible, give me an approximation as to how far through the game I am? Because I'm 90% sure that this is the furthest I've ever got. And I... Um, True earlier, who I think left, he said that when I find the dingbat or whatever it was, and I think that was the dingbat, then I'm halfway through the game. Oh, it's a... Oh. I don't understand. Oh, it has eyes. Hello? Who is that? Mark? No. Ethics says I'm halfway through. Course. Okay, thank you. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Okay, well, I mean, I'm good to keep going nice for a little you, bit. Robin. So, uh, in that case, what I might end up doing is alien is going to take me at least one stream to finish. I'm not unplugging you. I'm not unplugging you. No, I don't need to unplug you. You're not gonna make me do that game. Um, Alien will take me at least one stream to finish. The quarry will take me maybe two hours. And if I can get to the point where this can be finished in less than four, then I could do, I could do this and the quarry in one stream. Come on, pull, pull. Come on, why aren't you working? Oh, you're just being special. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Yes, no, maybe. There we go. 
do the tongue twister now. Uh, I think I'll wait a little bit. Um, I've got another bottle that I'm about to open. But I will do another one. Why do I get the feeling like I don't want to go in here? Yes, Mystic, I do play Civ 6. It is actually the game I have on Steam with the most playtime. And Shuffle, no. Um, I have not, but I am going to. Um, I think it was an option at one point, but I deliberately didn't because you weren't there. Um, I can't remember what I ended up doing instead, but yes, I'm definitely going to do an Edith Finch, Edith Finch stream because that can easily be done in a couple of hours. Uh, dark Bum, welcome. And uh, yeah, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this. I believe I'm now at the point in the game that I have not uh, been to before. Whereas everything I've done so far I had done previously, but a few years ago. And yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm curious Hello? for Civ 7, because... Anyone there? Like, the difference between Civ 6 and Civ 5 is substantial, okay, and I've played there. both, like, a lot. Um, and I... I want to say that Civ 6 is a better game, but only with all the DLCs. Whereas Civ 5... Civ 5 had elements that I really liked, but it's... I don't think it's quite as polished as Civ 6 is now that you have the all the, all the DLCs. Access denied? Do you have any idea who I am? I've got Catherine on a little stick. You gotta let me in. Oh wait, did I call you Dark Bum? Yeah, your name is Dark Bum. Sorry, I thought uh, Evie Evie called you Dark Burn, and I was just thinking, did I just completely, <laughs> did I just completely miss your name? But yeah, no, your name is actually Dark Bum. And, uh, yeah, Dark Bomb, I've, I've said a couple of times on stream so far tonight, but if anyone missed We're it, here. Final Autopsy's okay, done, Time probably will be released a week today. There will be nothing stopping us when we have done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the Abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, uh, Yay, yeah, Dunbat! I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's quarantined. Hold on. Oh, no. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. You let them out? We had it locked down and you let them out? Uh, I don't think the I'm not memorizing all of that. Holy shit! Move downstairs. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. See you in a bit, Dark Bum. See you uh, possibly next week. 
on the video release and enjoy the EFAP Saw series. I've seen all the Saw movies. I've not seen the EFAP... Uh, it's not EFAP minis, is it? It's EFAP movies. I've not seen their coverage of them, but I will at some point. Because I think YMS is on them, and YMS's Saw videos are rather good. Oh, I didn't grab the bloody Catherine. Come here, you. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I find want to bring you with me. Find someone who knows the security cipher. God damn it. Is Drinker in the in the sword thing as well? Ooh. Oh, no. Bad things. Hello. I think it's... Yeah, it's, no, I, I know that YMS is on the, um... Fucking hell. The game is making noises at me. Yeah, I know YMS is in the EFAP saw thing. I don't know if Drinker is. I, I can't remember. I don't think he is. Um... But yeah, in terms of the YMS drinker the drama, I guess, I like kind of feel like it was a bit now. overblown. I think, I think YMS had a bunch of preconceptions about Drinker, some of which turned out to be correct, some of which didn't. And that coloured his whole take on him, and... Um... Yeah, I honestly, what I would really like is for the two of them to have a discussion. What's so interesting downstairs? Because I do labs, enjoy offices. both of them a lot. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? No, no, fuck you. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go, so I'm just going to go everywhere. Let's go and have a look. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station. Something went wrong. Always check the toilets. I think I've done this in every horror game I'm that I've played this spooktober. Nope. There's usually something in one of these. A little nugget of goodliness. Hmm. And yeah, YMS has some absolutely fantastic videos. I mean, the Lion King one is... Fuck you, game. The Lion King one is probably his best. Um, I liked his old boy one a lot. And I'm trying to remember what, what other, like, deep dives did he do. Oh, his, like, end of year countdowns, which he doesn't do at the end of each year because he waits until he has actually seen every film he wants to see from each year, which can take years, which I appreciate, but... Yeah, those videos are usually very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I don't... That means nothing to me. Um, yeah, old, uh, Trouble, old boy... Um, well, the video the video YMS did was on the remake, the Spike Lee remake. Um, I am going to assume that he compared it to the uh, Korean one uh, in, in his video, but I honestly don't remember. But either way, his video was very good. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? Um, no, super chat from Levin, thank you. And uh, your super chat says, thank you so much for your Rings of Power series. Well, thank you for watching it, and thank you for being here. Because... Uh, the, yeah, I mean, the reason why I do these streams is for a little bit of fun and to chat with you guys. I seriously so, doubt you'll thank find you. anything useful in there. Anything useful? Well, we'll find a little book that says I am evil or something. Aww. That's adorable. Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top-heavy, so he keeps falling over. Come 
Ooh. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarang and the continuity. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Is that what it's like in the Ark? Hey, some scissors. Let's run with them. Cat. I guess cats can't go in the Ark. Oh god, that's horrifying. You could upload an animal. And, uh... Yeah, you could... You could upload an animal and put it into a, a person and it would act like a... An animal. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be good. See you in a bit, silly frog. What Thank you for joining. How are you doing? I was just putting my finger you know in the thing. Bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Try not to frighten Catherine. I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down quickly, causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there's no tragedy to mourn. I am victorious. So that's... So the human component has to die in order for the consciousness in order in order for the consciousness to be uplo uploaded into the ark is that or were they were they killing themselves because they knew they were going to die anyway and they didn't want there to be two of them because the version that goes into the ark is a copy right it's not it can't be the same thing uh mystic no i've not i've never streamed this before no Although I have, I've played up to this point before, I just don't remember it very well. Okay, well I think I've checked all the doors that I can. God, Truffle, yeah you're right, it's not even midnight yet, it's only... It's six minutes to midnight. Ah, fuck you! Oh, I didn't check the other toilet. Hmm. No goodies this time. I'm trying to remember where I came from. I think that was where I came from. I haven't been in here. Power tools, that's not a good idea. It might it might be conscious, who knows? Oh, no. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Yeah, I had a feeling that was the case. So you, you plug into the thingy and then you're piloting a thingy. Uh, which lets you, I guess, remote control it. But for some reason it uploads your consciousness into it, I guess, is what's happening. Uh, Strasky? Come in, I need help in the lab. The Gagolin, yes. It, well, I won't say what hyped, happened? but I'm interested. I'm, I, I want Conrad to see it, I think. killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, Nazer tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Reset router in the sub-level vault. Or contact main- well, I don't think we're going to be contacting maintenance, somehow. What? Check the terminal. I 
just want to make sure. I don't think I want to erase the data. David Munshi, you fuck! It was you! Hmm. David Munchy. How did this... What is this? Whoops. Kath, what is this? Why oh, no. Me? You are one of Dr. Munchy's templates. A legacy scan. Uh, well, I mean, I'm going to go in the audio rec audio recordings. Um, Dark Bum, do you mind? Is a Dark Bum says uh, random. Have you been affected by the YouTube ad block thing much? And what's your opinion? I don't know what you're referring to. Uh, if you mind, if you don't mind elaborating on that, I'm going to say no, I haven't. But I I also don't know what you're talking about, so I don't know. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. This freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I'm supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? You'd okay. be okay with that? Oh shit, it's still going. My research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. Oh, this is getting very Black Mirror now, although no you doubt Black Mirror came out after that. this. What? <laughs> the crash. Everything up till now. The Brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Um, so Dark Bomb says, for a while now, YouTube has forced you to basically deactivate ad block as a whole or you won't be able to play a video of course multiple ad blockers are hard at work to circumvent this measure yeah i've not experienced that because i pay for youtube for premium um any self-respecting engineer which legacy maybe i should anymore, but, but yeah learning. they come with every development kit so my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence you should be proud so much for that mystery no magic or time travel needed i was here all along Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Ah, oh, this this game is getting under my skin now. Um, right, while I do a little bit more exploring, so, um, this is, oh, this is new. Hold on. Are they and then to I need to talk about file? YouTube no, Premium and AdBlock. This is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. damaged. Wait, are these... Broken. Are these people? Bust. Are, they... are they all broken? I guess they're all broken. Fucking hell. Okay. Um... Yeah, so from a business standpoint, it makes complete sense that YouTube are going to work it into their system to get past adblock and um adblock are obviously gonna or different ad blockers are obviously gonna compete against each other to make the one that gets around youtube's thing and it, it's kind of like pirate bay gets taken down every now and then and then and then it comes back up because you just can't kill it because that's how the internet works um 
as for my perspective on it as someone who actually earns money through YouTube, I don't particularly care if anyone uses an ad blocker because the way YouTube... It's unfortunate because YouTube has slowly um, increased the amount of adverts that they will show uh, viewers, which essentially means that they're kind of trying to strong arm people into paying for YouTube premium, which maybe this makes me a hypocrite because I pay for YouTube premium. Um, which means that the options that you have are pay for YouTube premium or use an ad blocker, which I, I don't know if it's illegal, but it's going to be against YouTube's uh, TOS. And you could argue that it means that you're stealing from the content creators that you're uh, watching. I'm not sure that I would say that, but that is an argument that you could probably make. Um, but no, like the, it's a problem that YouTube have made for themselves because they've priced, like YouTube premium has also gone up in price since I started paying for it. And like, it's still not a huge amount, so I don't, I don't mind paying for it. And the amount of time I spend watching YouTube makes it worth it. But a lot of people, I'm going to do that. Blind, just like Adrian, so YouTube are basically listened, hamstringing their own service, making it worse until you pay for the like? for the version that the doesn't make it worse, if that makes sense. To pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. I'll keep my eyes open. And yeah, HP, the uh, putting ads on non-monetizable content, um, that is, that essentially means that YouTube are earning 100% of the earnings from that. Um, unless it's not monetizable because of copyright. On the computer. What did you use it In for? which case the copyright holder will be earning from it. intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent the whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? These are not good noises. Simon? What? No, Simon, don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cool. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines thinking they are people is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to attempt the method. So, yeah, kind of my view on the ad blocker scenario is kind of how... Oh, God, it's alive. Fuck. God damn it. Um, Netflix, part of the reason why like streaming services like Netflix became popular is because people, it gave people an easy way to watch content in a legal manner that didn't require them to have to pirate it. So they gave, it, it essentially gave people a paid option that was as convenient, if not more convenient than pirating. Because the, the good thing about pirating is that it's extremely convenient. And if you can outdo that convenience and put it behind a paywall, then you disincentivize people from pirating. Um, what YouTube are kind of doing is that, or what, <laughs> what they're trying to do is that, but the problem is that they're making their service worse for the people that don't pay. And I think that that will fail in the long term, and I think that the only reason why they're doing that is because they have a monopoly. And Steam, sorry, yes, yeah, Steam is the perfect example as well as, like, Netflix. Um... I actually don't think... Oh, no, I, I technically speaking, I have pirated games in my life, but that's games that uh, you can't buy anywhere. Like, games from when I was, was, was much younger, games that I bought when I was younger, and they don't exist on Steam. That kind of thing. But, no, like, honestly, with Steam, there is no reason to pirate anything, uh, game-wise. I don't like this. Something bad's going to happen in this room. I can already tell. I'm looking for something down here, I just can't remember what it is. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell, no, 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 no.
It's a dead end. Oh god damn you. No! No, 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 no. Let's hide this way. I don't know what that thing is, but it doesn't look like one that I've seen before. I'm gonna look at the, uh... I'm gonna look at the corner. And yeah, so regarding, regarding pirating games, the only games, like I say, that I've ever pirated in my life are games that you can't buy. And if it was possible to buy them, I would gladly pay money for them. Even games that I have... No! No! No, 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 no! That was a silhouette. Even games that I that I bought when I was younger, like that I had on like a CD-ROM that I don't have anymore, I would fucking battle for Middle Earth. I would buy that on Steam in a heartbeat if it came out. Lego Racers, I would buy that if it came out on Steam. HD Remake, Lego Racers, start the petition. I'm not going to look to the left, I'm just going to go this way. I get the feeling that when this thing sees me, it's going to just turn into like a hyperdrived, ridiculous, screaming monstrosity. Um, please reset Ruder. I thought, I thought I, I thought that's why I was here. an ex-person. Um, no. Is that its foot? I think that's its foot. I think I can see its shadow. Kinda. Uh, Cake the Jake. If you're right, I'm buying the piss out of that as soon as I finish this stream, but I didn't think it was. But yeah, that, that's the same reason why I would not have any qualms about pirating um, Willow, the TV series. If I ever had any desire to watch it. Because you can't, you can't legally watch it anywhere because Disney have pulled it from Disney+. Plus. And like, I, I don't care how bad it is. The, the show existed because there were fans of, this, of the film that maybe wanted to see the show. And then Disney pulled the show. So you cannot watch it legally. And I don't even know if it ever had a physical release. I don't know if you can if you can physically buy it. I, I don't know. And uh Zach, Lego 2K race is out. However, I've heard very mixed things and I have not played it yet. Oh, it's online. Oh, we're good. Okay, so it just it's on and the thing's happening now. Okay, we're good. Right, let's talk about Lego games to make me feel safe while I'm escaping this nightmare. This reminds me of the server room level in Aliens. Aliens? In Alien Isolation. Come on, go left. Nope. I think we're good. Fuck you! Right, we're good. So there was a thingy that was upstairs that I needed to press that required that the router be on, I think.
Um, so, Kate the Jake, um, Lego Lord of the Rings, I might be biased, but Lego Lord of the Rings I've played through, I think, three times. I haven't 100 percented it. I really like the Lego games, and I think that is the best one. But I obviously could well be biased, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Sam. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. Was that all I needed to do? Can I go and use the computer now, or...? I was thinking, with all the people scanned for the Ark, someone must have had access to the Dunbat. If you find a scan of someone who knew the security cipher, ah, right. maybe we can extract it somehow. Extract from what? What exactly am I looking for? Look for the large racks of data chips in the storage next to my lab. Oh, I remember. Plenty to choose from. Yeah, so in terms of LEGO games that I've played, I've played both the Star Wars ones, the OT... Well, I say both. There's going to be more now because of the sequels. The OT and the prequels. Um, LEGO Lord of the Rings, obviously. I've played both LEGO Harry Potters. I've played LEGO City Undercover. LEGO City Undercover is actually extremely good. But it's also a little bit different in that it has almost like an open world feel, kind of like um, almost like a Lego GTA is, I think, what they were going for. Um, what's the other one? Lego Pirates is okay. And the Lego movie, the video so game, is terrible. I'm not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running around out there. Now I am. Geez, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. Oh yeah, here you we go. You should really look for a scan. Check the storage. Oh, and I have the Indiana Jones one and the Marvel one. I've just never played it. Well, one of these is... Is it this one, maybe? Is broken? Is broken. Sorry, people. You're all dead now. Oh, that one looks alright. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Oh, yeah, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, I, I know for a fact that I had a copy on disc of Battle of Middle-Earth 1 and 2. Um, I just don't anymore. I have no idea where they went, and honestly, my computer doesn't have a hard drive, so... Uh, doesn't have a hard drive? Doesn't have a disc drive. We should try running a simulation from the chip you found. Someone must know the cipher. Oh, okay, so... Run a simulation from the chip you found. So how do I do that? Um, a tree man. So, in terms of dog sitting, my wife does it for a bit of money every now and then, because she can do a lot of her job while dog sitting, because um, she's a, she's able to work from home a lot of the time. Um, not, uh, like, I don't ever do it, unless it's for a friend or family. Like, at the moment, I'm looking after my mum's dog, because she's on holiday. But, um, no, we don't really do it anymore, except for particular dogs. Like there's a couple of dogs that we'll that we'll do it for because we know the owners, or if it's like friends who have dogs. But yeah, I do broadly speaking like dogs. Dogs are cool. Right, run a simulation. It's probably this one here, isn't it? Insert a chip. There we go. There should be a list of people. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. How the hell would I know that? Okay, so it looks like a bunch of these people killed themselves. Um, well, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's just try these. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Someone from Theta, thank you. Right.
It doesn't tell me. I guess this is trial and error. Okay. That one won't work either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. Uh, well, those names aren't on here. No, I don't think so. Stromai recruited people from the evacuated sites. They should also know the cipher, if you can find one of them. Very promising. Yay. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're going to have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. Oh god, this is Uh oh. Oh god. Oh, so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I I can't see anything. There's nothing here. Don't worry, Mr. Wan, it'll all get better. No, no, that that's a lie. You're lying. Don't get upset, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. Sure, let's do it again. Why not? That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Don't be afraid. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. It's okay. It's all a part of the scam. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Okay, calm down, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why, are you, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! This setup won't work. We need something else. Okay. We need something else. Something that fits in there. Is there another person, maybe, that I can get? Because if there's two people, then they can't be like, Oh, there's no one here. Now we're thinking with portals. What happens if I plug one of the duds in? I don't think that'll work. Ooh! Nope. Nope. No, we're missing something. What are we missing? I mean, it would be environment or module, because then I can put him somewhere, I guess? But I don't know where I would get those. Oh. No, there's probably not a way for me to put him in the robot. Oh, here we go. No? Float tank scan room. Let's put him in a beach. That seems nice. Damn it. Are you serious? Ah, oh, fuck. I need a thingy that goes in there. Um, wh what the hell? What fits in there?
What am I missing? Uh, if anyone's played this before, do you have any suggestions for directions? Because I am unsure where to go. I don't think it's going to be another hard drive. It's going to be... There's a thingy that I need to plug into there, but I don't, I don't know what it is. And I need to... I need to download one of the environments into the thingy that I put in here. Because it goes in there, I can then download Beach into it or something. Oh, that's goo. Uh, okay, yeah, let's not go that way. Put the environment into the red... Ooh, there we go. Thank you. Just as I found it. Right. Loady, loady. Don't explodey. Yes, I'll... El chaos. Uh, that was what I was thinking I needed to do. I just wasn't sure exactly how I'd do it. But yes, thank you. Let's try this. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up. Bastard. What? How did I get here? Mr. Wan, I need your help. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Just be calm. Take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery for a moment. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. So if we plug this in here... Um... I mean, that one might work. Let's, ooh, no, let's grab it. That's how that works. Um, BBC Sherlock is very hit and miss, I think. I've seen it all once. Uh, there's the odd episode that's good. Season four is fucking terrible, though. So if you're going to watch it, stop after season three. I'm not sure what mod support module... Let's try him in the scan room, and then if I have to find something else, then I will. That wasn't so bad. Where did it? Alice? The scan is done. Are you feeling all right, Mr. Wan? Chun? Where's Alice? She left. Mr. Wan, I need you to give me the new security. The same record. thing's gonna happen, isn't it? What? Why? Why would you need that? Yep, this is a Wait. trick. Oh, Simon, you just reset the simulation. Oh, okay. I'll try it again then, I guess. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did you... Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She's fine. We don't have much time, Mr. Wan. I need the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please calm down. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow, You hear me? You won't break me! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. Well, that's what I thought, but then you told me to let it play anyway. Right, we need like a person to be in there with him or something. Um... It's already got the scan room. That won't work. That's already on there. Bloat tank is corrupted. These two don't do anything for me. Which means I can't get anything out of this computer. That's fine. This one I don't think has a thingy on it. Nope.
Hmm. Module. Where the hell would I get module from? I, uh, I don't know. I think it, it's got, it's got to be up here. I don't I don't think the answer is going to be somewhere else. I wish I knew Brandon better. What would make him talk? Ooh, do we know Brandon better? Let's find. Let's make Brandon better. Brandon, where are you? Brandon Wan, August twenty fifth. That might make him feel better. Um. Well, hold on. Knowing what what will make him talk doesn't necessarily help me. Have I got to go all the way back to the computer screen down here? He, yeah, he did. I, I, I think I know what I have to do. I just have no idea how to do it. Maybe I've got to upload it from the other computer onto the little stick thing that I have. Yeah, I think that goo was here when I came here last. I think Brandon Wan is a good lead, but we need to find out more about him. See if you can't get to know him a little. Have a look in his room, go through his stuff. Oh, right. Do that. Okay. Thank you, game. And Alkaos. You are both helping me. So not only are we resurrecting this man's consciousness so we can get through a door, but we're also rummaging through his own, um, belongings. Right, what was it? Brandon something? Here we go. Brandon, Brandon Wan. Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. He doesn't we like can trick her into feeling safe uh, okay. enough to open up. Aha! Great. Definitely um, feeling good about this. Finished sleuthing. with the intercom. I didn't know you could date a mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. I compiled an Alice module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Uh, I guess scan room. There we go. That wasn't so bad. This room I really got me worked up, bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Strohmeyer. He said he needed a new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I can talk to him. Wait, didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. Well, I do feel I'm over. Okay, it's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Luan. Red. Goodbye. Baby. No, wait. That's enough. <sighs> Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. This makes me want to have I'll a shower. What to do with the data? You decide. What to do with the data? I... 
Wait, as in what to do with Brandon One, or or what to do with that little interview that we just had? That because I don't want I don't want to delete him. I don't want to erase him. Why would I erase him? Yeah, if I if I shut him down, then he stays in the hard drive, but then he's not conscious until the hard drive is ever plugged into anything. Whereas if I erase it, he's gone. So there's no reason why I would erase it, I don't think. Uh I'm Sorry, going to hell. We can get to the Dumbat now. Get back here. Warming up the Dunbat for us. Spent collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. What the uh, fuck noise is that? Oh, it's this. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Okay. Yoink. Damn it, HP. I hope you're wrong. See you in a bit, Truffle. Thank you for joining. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope you're not too drunk. I hope you haven't borrowed too much happiness from tomorrow. That doesn't... Nope. I am in the right place, aren't I? Okay. Well, that isn't how you do it, so where have we got to go? That's the only place I can go. Why did that door open slightly? There's goo coming from out there. Yeah, this is th this is the only thing I can interact with. What am I missing? Ooh. Nope. More power tools. Can I move this? Oh my god, I can move this. Does it actually get me where I want to be? Um... Possibly? <laughs> Possibly not if I can't rotate it. No, I can't rotate it. Um...
Is this thing... Is this just a red herring? Can I not... Oh, there's a button up there. Hold on. Nope, that doesn't help me. Um... Just to make sure I'm not being a complete spanner. Nope, right. None of that works. Oh, and I can't bloody switch around to find out what to do. Um, okay. That looks like something I can pull, possibly. Maybe it isn't. Console is not plugged in. Oh, God damn it! Thank you. I never would have found that. Jesus Christ. Someone put someone's brain in the fucking dingbat. Oh, that's not good. It's not gonna let me in. Is it gonna, like, hunt me now? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's dead. Um, I mean, I think it's gone either way, so... No, there's no other way out. Okay... Up there, that's the way. Yeah, he killed himself. But he also seemed a little bit traumatized. I don't know if he knew what he was doing. Hey, True. Welcome back. Couldn't sleep, you say? Um, so I have been told that I'm at sort of just over the halfway point? Are you... are you in agreement there? The rest is a wild ride. Okay, so are you saying that if I were to keep going for another hour, I wouldn't want to stop? Because I... at most, I'm gonna go for another hour and a half. <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting. So if we're pretty much at the halfway and the rest of it's like, go, 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 go. I will leave it up to you guys. I'm going to make a poll. Yeah, you're not going to finish it in an hour and a half. I, I was figuring that I wouldn't, but either I stop now and do a full stream to finish the whole thing. Uh, or I go for another hour and a half or so, maybe an hour, I, I don't know. Um... But then that will mean stopping in the middle of something, from the sounds of it. Right. Paul is up. I'll give it a couple of minutes. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. I can keep going for maybe an hour or so. Somewhere between an hour and two. It's not go, 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 but you want the ending intact. So, the yeah, the ending is going to be... Uh, the ending is going to be on its own anyway, I think, because either way, when I finish this, it'll be sort of at least three to four hours in, in one go. 
This is a decent place to stop so that you can enjoy the ending with the full weight behind it. Okay, so both of you guys as Oh, fucking hell, yeah, loads of people are saying to not keep going at this point. Um, that's... Yeah, 89% of you are saying are saying to leave it here and then do the rest of it all in one go. Okay. In that case, I will go with what you guys are saying. So I'm going to save the game. And yeah, Evie, we are going to call the stream right about here. So, game is now saved. So, what we're gonna do? It's I'm 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 really I'm really wanting to play the rest of it now, but I know I can't finish it tonight because I won't have enough time. Um. So, yeah, given given what you guys are saying now about the rest of the game, I'm I'm really wanting to do the rest of it. Uh, true, you're right. Yes, you came back and told me to stop. That's right. But no, from the looks of the poll, you guys are saying uh, don't keep going and do the rest of it all in one go, which is fair. I can I can do that. So, um, what is there to say, really, just before I sign off? So, fourth and final Spooky Ween stream. All of them have been a lot of fun. Um, I am definitely going to finish Soma. I'm definitely going to finish... Um, the quarry, and I'm definitely going to finish Alien Isolation. I don't know if I will do any more of Prey. I will probably play that a bit myself and then decide. Um, tongue Twister. Yes, we'll finish with the Tongue Twister. Type it type it in, and I'll read it before I finish. Um, and apart from that, for anyone who wasn't here earlier in the stream, uh, the Hobbit video is done, the final Hobbit video. I am sort of 90% sure that I'll be releasing it a week today. Um, but I don't know for sort of definite. I won't know until about mid next week. But if you see it pop up in the Discord or on the uh, on the YouTubes, then yeah, then you know that it's coming out on Friday. And then probably the following Friday I'll continue streaming something. I might go straight into Soma. I'll probably leave that up to you guys. But yeah, uh, the first Spooky Ween four stream streams has been pretty successful and quite a lot of fun. And now we've just got to finish the rest of the games. Right, I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna reread reread the tongue twister from Ozzy, and we're gonna see how I do compared with the first time. Now that I'm, what three more bottles of cider deep? So, she sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. For if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore. Fucking hell! I nearly did it all the way through. Then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. The last like. Four words fucked me. I nearly got it. I really wanted to get it, but oh well. Right. Uh, want to try a German tongue twister? If it's in German, then no. Uh, well, go on, type it in anyway. Type it in anyway, and we'll give it a go. I mean, I don't, I don't speak German, so I'll just be reading it phonetically. As, as phonetically as you can with German, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, beer, beer brower, bower brout, brown beer brown, beer brout beer brower bower, I think. And because I don't speak German, you may have just got me to say something horribly offensive, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't know that you had done that. So uh, I hope you haven't done that. But anyway, just in case you have, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna finish my drink and then I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. It has been a lot of fun, and I will see you, if not on the Discord, then I will see you uh, in a week's time when I release the video. So yeah, see you in a bit, guys. And uh, Ozzy, if you want, to <laughs> if you want to send me the tongue twister in private before I do the next stream, then I'll read it at the beginning of the next stream. But yeah, see you later, guys. Thank you so much, and uh, have a good night.